It'll be fine. Yeah, you have time. Hmm. Right, so yes, I the go... idea is that every 10 flares turns into a mega flare. Or they could get a discount. A mega they... flare. You should or probably... Or if they buy 8 flares, they get a discount. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'll let, I'll let you decide your flare prices. Uh, do, okay, what do you think? Do you think $2 a flare is reasonable? Yeah. Or do you think 100 bits is... Uh, uh, most people do a dollar a flare. A dollar a flare? Dollar a flare. Or $8 a flare. Or $8 a dollar. A uh, 10 for a mega. Uh, well, the point is it's 10 for a mega, but if you buy 8 straight up. Why would you buy 8 in a row? Gear. Why would you buy 8 in a row? Are you just insane? <laughs> well, I don't know. Some people like to buy a lot of flares. I mean, they did last time, right? Maybe. Uh, how about your... F mm, no. I think if you spend over $10, you get one mega flare. I see. Over 10. So you think like if they donate or spend 10 bits, they get a mega flare. That's over 10 bucks. Yeah. Sounds good to me. It's also to make it so it's easier to combine them. Slurpee, so Slurpee, not... hello. Oh, I love your bomb bombs emotes. Look at that. Look at that bomb bomb. That's great. Hello. Thank you for watching me cart earlier. Um, also, I need you to screen share. I'm over my daily limit for tweets. There's a daily <laughs> limit? What? You can do that? What? All right, well, I'm going to set the stream up. OK. Uh, what? I need the uh, screen share. So I can oh, watch. yeah, I forgot. Literally forgot. Yes. Actually forgot. Yeah. Uh, OK, here you go. Can you see this? Uh, let's find out. Let's hope so. I hear it. You hear it? Okay. Do you see it? I have successfully three uh, Twitch chats open because you want to watch three streamers. Hell yeah. Oh, by the way, did you, um, did yeah. you win? Oh, yeah. Yes. I don't have enough monitors or hosts for this. That's okay. Um, I mean, I think so, like, mini might end at eight or nine. Um, I think they'll pass that back to us. <laughs> no. I, I guess I could see that happening, though. The never ending cycle of <laughs> what if I Is show up. Yeah. As long as we have someone stream every eight hours, the stream never ends. The stream never ends. You're just passing the same audience from one stream exactly. to the next. Exactly. I mean, exactly. that would be so much easier, wouldn't it? That is the strat. That's the stream team dream. The stream team dream. I yeah. agree. I'll give people a couple minutes to come in because I'm a little late. Sorry about that, everybody. Huzzah! You're winning Mario Kart. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to win. I like having crown. Me I too. like having crown. That's all you need to no. know. I, I also like having crown. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> that was me in golf. I, I'm sure. I was actually thinking <laughs> to myself, like, we probably look like maniacs. Like, <laughs> we show up. You're like going team. crazy in golf, and then I show up and I'm going crazy in golf <laughs> and karting. <laughs> Jax was actually really, really good. I would love to play with him more often, in particular. He's at least around my skill level, and he knows Ooh. like how to play. So I was like, Ooh. I mean, Midi was doing pretty good a couple times. Midi too. was also very good on that last like gold mine race. Yeah, were, I was watching at the time. Sometimes, like, oh my God. sometimes all you really need is that head start, and then once you break away from the pact, it's fucking over. Yeah, but I noticed the rubber banding in that, and that particular mark card isn't as strong as it used to be. Mm mm mm. Definitely not. Golf, the game I got kicked out of due to network issues. Yeah, that Ooh. sucks, Jenna. I hope you get better internet if you ever move out. All right, we all ready? Yes, this is going to be crazy. Is, yeah, I know. On the, I don't want to wait that long because it's already 8.30 and these usually take like six hours. So, uh, hmm. But well, I want to know what's for? happening. What? What were you going to wait for? Uh, I kind of wanted Blue to show up because he's playing alongside us and he's at this case. So that's okay. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, All by right. the way, mm. we just came here. Yes, like, and we for Susato-san. So yeah. Okay. A also, Blue, you are here! Okay, goodness. And don't forget, um, we yeah. also have our um, our new assistant. Our new assistant? Yeah, the cute little girl. The cute girl. Oh, Iris. Iris. All yeah. I ask is for me to not kicked out during golf. A toast to these long investigation sections. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> At least six hours. Ah, ah. 
Uh. Jen already knows about the characters in the second game. I think it's fine. Uh, no matter how many times I come here, I always get the same sense of oppressiveness somehow. Yeah, I was excited to have you here. I know you wanted to come last stream. Do you think this place is oppressive? I think it's normal. How so? I mean, look at that suit of armor over there. You can't take that seriously, can you? You're flushed, <laughs> aw. I mean, I like, I know you were looking forward to the series. You're a flare cut stream stable. Maybe I think it thinks the same about you. I think this is yours. Uh, Whoever the question mark is, I think that's you. Uh, can we just read it just to guess because I don't actually know who it is. So everything is clear with regard to tomorrow's arrangements, I trust. Uh, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, they're plotting oh, something? Oh? They were both you, it turns out. <laughs> there they are. So such a son and Lord Strongheart. He doesn't get an honorific, huh? I wonder what they're talking about. They both look very serious. It's him, scarier looking Dracula. <laughs> I think that's you. I don't the remember plot what kind of, happens. What kind of voice did I give him? I don't know. Give him a JoJo voice. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing further to discuss. You may return to your lodging. Is that really what they I sound like? No, I I cannot do a JoJo. Oh, okay. I think I could. Mara, mara. He's like D Damon Gunn. He does. He does from another uh, Ace Attorney game with the glasses. Uh, I loved his glasses. To read it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wait, what did he just say? Your return to your homeland? I knew it. Susato-san! Oh, no. Yeah, I'm eavesdropping. <laughs> the birds. Oh, um, Mr. Naruto. Make him sound like Danny DeVito. <laughs> what was all that Other about? Thing... Hold on, I need to listen <clears throat> to Danny DeVito, see if I can make his voice. Phil from Hercules, the satyr? Yeah, uh... I, I need to like hear it so Would I can. Would you like an egg in this trying time? <laughs> Would you like an egg in this trying time? That's pretty good. <laughs> Here you go. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can give give him the. Uh, oh, I, I gotta no. like listen to it. See if I can even copy that tone. <clears throat> if YouTube would like to load, please. That would be amazing. Give him a Brooklyn accent. Oh no, that's uh, Joey Wheeler from the Bridge series, cat. Wait, I'm sorry. Did yeah, you no, I definitely can't do. I can't. I definitely not do his voice properly. There's no way. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? Naruto, thank you for coming. I can't. I can't. Do, I don't know. I feel like I even like a. Just look Why? at him and give him a voice. Look at him and give him a voice. He's Just like. Just look at him. Thank you, Mr. Naruto. Thank you for coming to collect your colleague. I love that cat's eyes have to get really big when they're focusing on this deep voice. <laughs> What's this all about? Why are you all talking about Mrs. Sato's return to her homeland? <laughs> and, and, tomorrow? Is she leaving me? Looks like it. Everyone's leaving me. Tomorrow? You a bad enough dude to return to Mrs. Sato's homeland? I'm not. But what about Ginny's trial? You mean... She's been formally charged now? Oh dear. Well, who else are they gonna charge? Well, actually, they said they found the two guys who ran away, but they didn't charge them, right? That's rather strange. Yeah, there's not enough proof to charge them, probably. Mm. probably or charge they, them or they believe whatever the witnesses, quote-unquote, said. Which is that yeah, maybe they're saying kinda... they're uninvolved, but I don't know. Mususato, what is this all about? Oh, please don't concern yourself, Mr. Naruto. That's a concerning thing to say. It's only me going back to Japan. You think like, Kazuma's now. gonna suddenly appear next to me and be like, Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill him again. I feel like you can continue. Oh. That's not what I asked. What happened? Why are you leaving? Yo, Yo what, what up? up? Girl, <laughs> you still over, hey girl, you you over me early? or what? <laughs> Oh no! It's my father. He's fallen ill. Hey, Shark Beverage. Shark Hot Beverage? This is from uh, Midi's stream. Nice to meet you. I'm oh, Flair, and this is Cat. Uh, Cat's Hi. the golf master. I'm the Mario Kart master. Lurking <laughs> in both streams. No worries. Wait, what is it? I, you I'm love my curious. Discord profile picture? It's a really cute pit crew. 
Uh, if you really want to use it, I can link it very quick uh, before you get to invest it. Yeah, Cats is really pretty. Um, I, I'll even, I even post mine in VC text for people who want to see. Why were you putting VC text? Uh, no, I'll put I'm... the... I'll put Let's it... Let's you know, link it in uh, Twitch. Well, I don't know. I'll put it in general chat. Fuck it. There's no rules here. Uh, that's the pick room using. Casually just sidestep that message. I'm so sorry. Uh, no killing. Haha. <laughs> Anyways. Oh no. Oh no. Professor Mikotoba. First of mine. I like to murder. And you know <laughs> this about me. <laughs> murder? Oh god, I really need to get What do you mouth. think I got away with for so long? You would give me five bits and an unhappy face. <laughs> General talk and for a cat, and here's mine. That way we can. I forgot about this guy. Uh, which guy? Oh. The as, as Jenna term. said, the Dilf, but I don't feel comfortable naming him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just don't. We don't talk to him enough that it, that it mattered to me. Sorry. That's you being, uh, Pan. You you could if you knew him better, maybe. Mhm. Mm Oof. What? See him as a Dilf? <laughs> I guess so. Slurpy with the knife. Look at this guy, he's a nerd. <laughs> we received an international telegram from the Empire of Japan informing us of the news. Is it really that important that we know that he's dying? He seems like a leader of some kind. I guess Ten so. Ten days ago, father collapsed with a fever. The cause is apparently a non poison! Whoa! That's the first thing I thought of, because that, that stupid jerk who who left Japan, quote-unquote. Yeah, yeah. And it seems he grows weaker day by day. Mm. Like a poison would I, do. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that lady got away with it. The voyage from here to your country's capital, Tokyo, takes some 50 days. Wow, imagine going there and they're dead before you get back. That is, that's very possible. I thought it would be prudent to hasten Miss Susato's departure as soon as possible. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, like my grandma got really sick last year, around this time actually, uh, August. Have any actual bad guys been defeated in this game? No. 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 Everyone Unlike has before. gotten away with murder, and then we solved the case about who accidentally stabbed that one girl, but it wasn't a murder and she was fine, so. It was an. I mean, that's probably why they lived because it was by accident. That's true. <laughs> I will leave London first thing in the mor tomorrow morning. Oh fuck! Can't believe this is happening. But Who's yeah, the one that like, gave us uh, you know, I knew my grandma wasn't doing well in August, but I thought she would be fine and get out of it. And then I usually don't go home until Thanksgiving, so I waited until Thanksgiving to go home. Uh, and the week that I came home was the week she died. So I'm actually very grateful that she held on for me, but also I feel really bad uh, that I could have gone home sooner. I could have had more time charged. with her, you know? She'll have to appear in court. Also, by the way, I'm, I'm cleaning glasses, so that's uh, okay. Too. You have glasses? What? You have glasses? What do you mean? You're not wearing glasses? No, you're right. Yes, she was formally I, I charged a few gone. hours ago, and the date of the trial has already been set for tomorrow. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a sad story. That's actually part of the reason we started streaming um, around Christmas. Um, you know, we were still mourning my grandma and I wanted something to do to take my mind off things because I had to stay in my grandma's room to take care of her. And then we started turning it into like an office to get over it a little sooner. Because, um, no. you know, it's really sad to go into that bedroom. It was attached to my bedroom, actually. We shared a bathroom. Uh, so it was really hard to get over it. So we started streaming. No, not even 24 hours later. Well, what will we do without Susato's context-sensitive book know? of everything? Ah, the Lestrade girl and the murderer of the Baker Street pawnbroker, yes? In an all too transpicious case. Transpicuous. Transpicuous. I've never seen sorry. that word before, though. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> the pickpocket was clearly disturbed mid-robbery and shot the man in a panic. Mm. That yeah, Blaze, are you still at your house or your farm? No, the yard is overstretched as it is, without wasting time on these open and shut cases. 
It's not wasting time. Ginny would never do something like that. Mr. Naruto? Oh, um, yes, Lord Strongheart. Your house sitting, that was for a semester in college. Oh, okay, in yeah, that's rough. In defense of your fine services to date, I shall overlook this young girl's insolence. Ooh, envy with but the I've, purple hair. This looks nice. But I have no recollection of admitting a child into my office. Leave. Now. Huh? Poor Iris. She's so intelligent. Of course, Lord Strongheart. I almost thought that was a G for a second. I was like, criminals. Criminals? <laughs> I was like, criminals will tell the most palpable lies in order to evade justice. The police can ill afford the time it takes to unravel all their untruths. Meanwhile, more crimes are perpetuated. Perpetrated. My dumb. My brain. Mm. We have far more serious matters in which to contend. Serious matters? Didn't Gregson mention something like that yesterday? Oh yeah, they said there's a big case going on. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Inspector Gregson made a similar remark yesterday. Big so reminder. <laughs> it's no concern of yours, though I'm sure I need not to remind you of that. Angry eyes. You've run out of time. Three minutes precisely until my next meeting. You must excuse this me. This is me trying to juggle my time in between work. Or it's streams. just one more thing, Lord Strongheart. Which is? It's Miss Lestrade's trial. I wonder if you might permit me to defend her. A timely suggestion. Sorry? The girl currently has no representation. But, but that's not fair. Yes, she may be a pickpocket, but she still deserves a fair trial. <laughs> this meeting asshole beyond be on time to every meeting me, except one with lady. you. The government provides those too poor to afford representation with a public defender. That's true in the United States as well. The accused only needs to sign the relevant paperwork and the defense barrister to be assigned to the case. That's a lawyer. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. <laughs> However, the young girl in question has refused that right. No, that's true. He wasn't early. Why would she do that? A question you would do well to direct at Miss Lestrade. You'll find her at the local prison. Yes, thank you. Gotta find a way to convince her, don't we? Mm. Now then, it's time I was leaving. Good day to you! I say good day! <laughs> <laughs> what a day. Tina charged with murder. Susato-san about to leave. You got a new assistant. Don't forget that. I like how you're so excited about the other assistant. Okay, she got the goggles! I like Susato-san. I also like Susato, though. Come, Mr. Naruto. Iris, you must make haste. But, Susie... You're leaving for Japan tomorrow morning, aren't you? Don't you have packing and things to do? Now she has the one dress, actually. Yeah. <laughs> As Mr. Naruto's judicial assistant, my personal circumstances are of no consequence. She can sleep on the boat. Hmm. My sole purpose remains to help you in whatever way I can. Yeah, in two months on the boat. Thank you, Mrs. Sato. It's a very pensive look. One's one dress and a book. That's true. I think we I think we must ought to visit Gina first. In any case, I should we like to wish her well before I leave. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. If I'm honest, this has completely thrown me off. I'll just have to do what I can, as a lawyer. Man, I can't imagine being alone in this country by myself. I'd be scared. But you have Iris, and you have, um... Yeah, but... Professor Hunky Dory no, Man. No offense to my Hunky Dory friends, but they don't speak my native language, and they don't know me as well as, like, this girl does. There's something that's about, true. you know, coming to a foreign country with your friends, or with people you know, that's a lot more reassuring. Hello again, Gina. I forgot she's I voice her. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately gets out the gun. Got gun. <clears throat> what are you here lot for? I said that in the wrong order. I'll pretend we did it right. It's okay, it makes a sense. 
to have the muzzle of that grenade launcher shoved in our faces yet again, obviously. Hmm, I think I need to improve the way you load ammunition into that thing, don't I? <laughs> I mean, it's not an actual weapon, so I think it's fine. Look! You can come as many times as you like, but I ain't got nothing more to say to you. Is that it? Oh, okay. Different cutscene. Tina. I wonder if you might hear me out. There's something I'd like to say. What? What? <laughs> Just a... I'm sorry to say, but I must reluctantly bid you farewell. Eh? Farewell? Tomorrow I must begin a journey back home, to Japan. I fear we may never meet again. Oh, right. I've had the pleasure of meeting so many lovely people here in London. I have so many wonderful memories. And yet, as things stand now, it will be a glum parting indeed. Poor Iris so miserable. Susie. Well, well they, they are my business. <laughs> Both Iris and Mr. Naruto believe you to be innocent, Gina. They've put their faith in you. But somehow, you can't find it in your heart to put your faith in them. Yeah, that's right, I can't. What of it? It grieves me greatly to have to say goodbye to my friends while they are so clearly unhappy. Because Ooh, of you. Yikes! Jeez. What? It's my fault. Yes. I have one final request, Tina, before our past yeah, never she's crossed again. Well, hopefully. Or she needs to be. She's being accused right of murder. Right here and now. I want you to show both of them that you don't deserve the faith they've invested in you. She's not suspected of murdering Wonka. She's suspected of murdering a pawnbroker. Eh? Only by doing that will you truly be as alone as you claim to be. What are you talking about? What do you expect me to do, huh? You've told us that everyone lies. So prove it by admitting one of your own untruths. No one who cares who wagged Wonka. I mean, I just don't think they've investigated it, but maybe it'll come up during this trial. What about what you said before, Ginny? You said something about unforgivable lies. You two must tell Mr. Naruto and Iris the truth now. That is my last request before I leave. She's strong arming us. My last request as a judicial assistant. No, I... I can't. Whatever these lies are, they're obviously weighing very heavily on Gina's mind. Gina, I could be wrong, but... Is it something to do with what happened two months ago? Something about that trial? Uh-oh. I mean, that was a pretty weird trial. The one in which Magnus McGilded was acquitted. Ah, uh, the case of that mysterious murder that took place inside the omnibus. You were called as a witness by the prosecution. Is that what this is about? Yeah, you're right. Because in that trial, I lied. I lied like you wouldn't believe. Will you tell us about it now? Yeah, I want to know what happened. Yeah, me too. Please. I'm curious. Give me the drama. Give me, give me. Trial, trial, slurp tell me. I slurped that shit. I'm like... <laughs> Just take out your popcorn. Like you said, it all happened two months ago. The coppers got a hold of me and shoved me in the witness stand. And based on your testimony, Mr. McGilded was declared innocent. Yeah, well, the thing is, I lied about a whole bunch of stuff. I knew it. What sort of things did you lie about? I was I under the seat that night. That was the truth. Oh, did she witness the murder? It was pitch black in that little cubby hole. I couldn't see a thing, and then... Oh, Jesus. I heard that loud thud, like someone falling on the floor. And that's when Mr. McGilded discovered you. Yeah. Alright, so that part's still true. He pulled me out from under the seat and set me next to the dead man. Oh, he was already dead, but not stabbed. They weren't much like to see by, but when I looked at my hands, I had the coast blood all over them. I was so scared, I couldn't even speak. You had his blood on your hands, in other words. 
It was Gina that the witnesses on the roof deck saw through the skylight. Yeah, we knew that already. And Mr. Gilt is trying to ask you questions, I suppose. That still doesn't... So, okay. I was unsure about what the hell was going on with the blood from the top. But if that's true... Doesn't that mean he still fell from somewhere? It could be I'm falling sure from the, the seat. I'm pretty sure the blood wasn't there when it w when the f we first investigated the omnibus. No, I agree. But on the other uh, hand, how... Where did he... He got stabbed, but then what fell? I... I, the, I think the body fell. It couldn't have fallen from the skylight because that was fabricated. No. Well, let's find out. They'll, they'll probably explain mm. it to us. Let's see what they say and we'll put it together better. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry. Who were you and why were you hiding under the seat? Uh, that's from a different case. This is from two cases ago. Seat. I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, he did. Only, that's not all. What do you mean? I mean, he threatened me. Oh, threatened you about how? Made me swear about what I'd seen and what I'd heard. And about what he was going to do after the cove was found dead. Made me swear I wouldn't tell no one about any of it. If I did that, he said he'd let me scalpel before the coppers showed up. And that's technically what he did. Gina, you must tell me what he swore you to secrecy about. What you he's saw, dead. what you heard, everything. I mean, he's dead. Oh, she nodded. Ooh, oh, I mean, Blue, know. if well, Blue, if you haven't played through this game yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. But that's okay. I think it's I think it's vague enough that you're not sure. You said McGill did made you swear not to tell anybody what you saw, but you were in the pitch black compartment under the seat the whole time, weren't you? No. Yes, yeah, so Mr. McGill is sitting above your head, if I remember correctly. But if he's just so light, it didn't matter. This is, I believe, the third case in the game, McGill did, right? Or is it the second? The first McGilded case is in Japan, the second is on the boat, the third is... Okay, you did see it. Yeah, it is case three. Yes, yes, yes. So in other <laughs> words, she's being accused for something else, but we're recounting the accounts of case three. Because it's actually not what really happened. Yeah, a lot of it was uh, fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's true, but it was when I had the thud of the cove hitting the floor. I let out a little scream, see? Couldn't help it. McGill did heard that and dragged me up by my arm. And that's when I saw it. It was on the floor next to the old geezer where he'd been stabbed. A disc, all bright and shiny! Disc? A disc? Do you mean... Yeah, that's it. The what? The one what the D took off me at Windybanks. So the music box was di disc was there on the floor of the omnibus. Not for long. McGill had spotted it right away. Picked it up, smartish, and stuffed it inside his pocket. So that disc was in the omnibus two months ago at the scene of Mr. Mason's murder. And the bulk trotter told me I weren't to mutter a word of it to no one. Hmm. What's so important about that disc? I don't know. There must be something information on it, like secret. Because it was so dark under that seat in the cab. I was straining my ears the whole time. After a while, I heard the door and footsteps inside the cabin. Presumably, that was McGilda getting on board. Nah, not only him. Oh, more than one person! Oh! Because I could definitely make out the footsteps of two people. So there's someone who's not even accounted for. It was seen in the case would likely be it was Mr. Gilded and the victim. The thrice fired Mason. Thank God she has her book of knowledge. In his testimony during the trial, Mr. McGilda claimed he slept during the carriage ride. Mm. Bullshit. We already knew about it, you know. We don't need to re. We, uh, the possibly dead man who might not actually be dead. Your own testimony, Gina, supported this. Oh, I keep, oh, yeah. This is a flashback. I'm done. Wow, wow, wow. Flashback. <laughs> yeah, that weren't exactly true. Neither of them was asleep. I could hear them talking the whole time. No voices. What? What, what were they talking about? Sorry, I don't know. The sound of the horses and the wheels was too loud. But you knew they were talking. Hmm. They're probably negotiating. Or something. Maybe he wanted the disc. 
Mr. Big Gilded and the victim knew each other. So McGilded was lying as I suspected. I mean, it was your client. After the event. I knew it wasn't going to take long before someone raised the alarm that the bloke had been killed. Hmm. Yes, you're quite right. The other passengers on the roof deck noticed very quickly. So when the cabin came to a stop, McGilded told me to hide back under the seat again. I climbed in and waited. Two corpses from up top run off to get the coppers. Yes, um, Mr. Fairplay and Mr. First. I'm surprised you remember their names. I did not. Right. And after they'd gone, McGill did ask the driver to do him a favor. A favor? Uh, I don't remember who did the voice. Uh, Take this coat of mine, deposit it with a nearby pawnbroker. Huh. Ten guineas for that. Oh, you know what I just realized? A nearby pawnbroker, you mean on Baker Street. That is a really smart way to make sure that when the cop showed up, he didn't have the evidence on him. The disc. Yeah, because it would have been in the jacket. So they just hid it. Mm. And he was going to come pick it up after the trial. Then he died, supposedly. Mm. He might have actually died. Yep, you got it. It was Windy Banks. Oh, she snapped him. The coach, he snapped up the money and ran off to pop his coat as fast as he could. So then there was no one left in the carriage. McGill did open the box under the seat and let me get out of there, but not without conditions. Mm. I see. I see. I see. I wonder what those conditions were. What were Mr. McGilded's conditions then? For letting you go, free I mean. Not telling a soul, not for anything. About what I heard and what I saw and what I heard. It, and there was something else as well. There's more? Yeah. This is the most important thing, he said. What is this? I'm off to send the coachman a little errand for me with some change, small change in his hand. Now then, did you hear what I asked of him? Did you see anything at all? At all? You asked him to go pop your weasel, right? Meaning your coat. Aye, the fiend's taking me over coat to deposit with a pawnbroker hereabouts. And I want you last to take the redemption ticket for it. Do you understand? What? You want me to have the ticket? That's right. Then I'll come fetch it from you later. Sometime within the next two months. You to hang on to it until then, is that clear? And whatever you do, don't lose it. All right then. And in case I might happen to be delayed at all, you to go to the pawn shop, window bank, so it is, and you're to extend the loan before the two months is up. If you forget, the article will be forfeited and any old fiend could come along and buy it. Eh, but, but I, I ain't got that kind of brass. Here's five pounds, this should be enough. Do we understand each other less? Don't try anything funny now. If you go against me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Good. And one more thing. A few days from now, you'll be visited by the police, I've no doubt. The coppers! Aye. They'll come asking you to take the stand in court. Testify as a witness. So let's just have a wee chat about that, shall we? What is it that you might say? And what it is that you won't? Makes sense. Hmm. He really covered his bases. He's not a dumb person. He's very smart. Con After you gone over it all, I piked it. Got as far away from there as I could. He had the pawnbroker's ticket in some bushes near the scene. I went to fetch it the next day once it got dark. So McGill had planned it. And coerced Gina into giving false testimony. Hmm. Interesting. But what does it mean? Hmm. Something about that disc is insanely Yeah, important. like, why is it so important? I'm not sure. I bet you're ready to string me up, eh? Oh, Lance, I see you in here. <laughs> I lied. Mm -hmm. in that big old courtroom. I told some corkers. 
The thing is, he said he would make it so we couldn't live in the East End no more. That's what he threatened me with. What a wicked man. He knew everything what went on in the back slums. He knew we had no one to look after us, and we was all just looking out for each other, getting by together. So you mean... Oh, that's yours, sorry. You mean Mr. McGilder would have... In a heartbeat. Every... He could have had the lot of us chased out of there if he wanted. And then, where could we have gone, eh? Nowhere, that's where. So, I didn't have no choice. Thank you, Gina, for telling us everything. But, I'm four now, eh? Go on, admit it. You must be livid. Well, you can make amends by doing me a simple favor. A favor? What? Sign the representation papers for tomorrow's trial. Mm -hmm. Eh? If you don't actually want me to represent you in court, you can rip it up later. But we need that paperwork or we can't investigate. The police won't let us. Investigate what? The scene of the incident last night. Mr. Sholmes was shot, you see. You what? Curly's having a big operation right now, Ginny. I is it bad? I is it gonna be alright? Sholmes is gonna be alright, right? That's why I want to investigate. For Mr. Sholmes' sake, as much as anything. Right. So what you're saying is if I sign that bit of paper, everyone's happy, is that it? Something like that. Mr. Sato? Yes, of course. And the representation paper. Right. Representation paper. <laughs> the, right what? Here. the what? The uh, what? Right, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> We're, we're so useless without her. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, hi, Bella Bean. That's a baby. She's trying to attack my phone because I'm trying to put the it. baby off screen. <laughs> <It's> really <good. laughs> like, oh, do, do, do. I, I, wish I, I don't need no one to stick up for me, though. No lawyer or nothing. Sign the damn paperwork. <laughs> I mean, that'd be convenient. Poor Ginny. She seems so lonely. Ginny's representation papers have been entered. <laughs> Don't even get to see her sign it. Hooray! Well, at least this should mean we can investigate the scene of Windb bleh, Windy Banks now. Yes, and perhaps we can come back to visit Ginny when we're done there. I feel like we finally cracked Gina. She's opened up to us at last. And now I have her representation papers. No one else knows what, just what a responsibility that is. Anyway, for now it means Inspector Gregson can't stop us investigating Windbridge Banks. Damn right he can't. Although, something tells me he's not going to be happy about it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. I'll continue. We were right before a save point, that's sad. How dare they give us a continue. So now we can start investigating, finally. Oh, investigation. Oh, Bella Bean. My cat just jumped against the window. There is a lot going on here, too. I wonder what... I wonder oh, what... you know what? There's no one here anymore. Now we can here take we are again I mean, at the scene of the crime. What do you want to take? Everything. Now to thrust these representation papers in Gregson's face and see what he makes of them. Oh, I should just be like, okay. Hello again, Inspector. Do you have a minute, please? That's you. Uh, what was his voice again? I don't know. What is it now? You should be going home and getting some rest. Oh. Here you are, Greg C. Here are the representation papers. Y your ladyship! How did he forget that she was here? How? He's got chips at a crime scene. He's always ready for food. He's always hungry. Me too, though. I don't believe it! How in the devil did you get that stubborn little rash ragabag to sign that? Ragabash. <laughs> ragabash. I salute you! That's good work, that is. Well, he's actually surprisingly accepting. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think he was against it, but... Mm. I can see you've been very busy here as well. How about some tea? It's a special blend designed to relieve fatigue. No. Oh. He's like... <laughs> 
Ah, flighty! Ah, lovely! Well, let's see now. He looks so... It's so a He's always so like a... <laughs> yes, yes, I hardly fear tide at all. I'm fit as a fiddle, you like your ship. Well, would it be alright if we investigated the scene of the crime then? <laughs> Do as you please. Do as you please. <laughs> you know what happened. Though, through that door behind the counter. Hmm. Wait, but I want to investigate out here too. Hmm. Yes, the storeroom. That's where I discovered Mr. Windebank and Gina. Hmm. Right, well, I'll be getting back to business then. What? Well, what's your business? Will you be investigating in the storm as well, Inspector? If I'm perfectly honest, I need to wrap this up before long. I can't afford to spend too much time on it. They have a lot of stuff going on. There are so many articles to go through. I'm taking forever. Even with the late lads working around the clock. Which is a problem, because there's another case the Yard needs to investigate urgently. That must be what Lord Strongheart meant by far more serious matters before. So what I'm saying is, I don't, don't get under my feet, sunshine. <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh my god. What, what? I just realized something. What, what? What if they pinned the death of Maddie McHatterson on Count Chocula? Uh, Which maybe, is why he's been missing. Maybe. Ah. Uh, ah? Uh? <laughs> you're so uh? excited. <laughs> Come on then. Let's not waste any time. Honestly, super possible. That's how. That's a, that's just my guess. I mean, for it to be a serious case in their eyes, must yeah, be some important kit charge. Well, I was gonna uh, we say something. Oh, what? Before you do anything, go to the right. You wanna look at? The... Oh, sorry. Oh. These shelves are where the pawnbroker puts articles that have been forfeited on display for customers to buy. Yep, it's a really strange miscellany, isn't it? I mean, who would buy this horse statue, for example? Hmm. Well, sometimes you can find real treasures among all the junk, you know. Are you alright, Runo? Oh, it's just, well, it looks like a collection of useless junk as a whole, but when you pick out individual things, you can't help but wishing you owned them. Even that horse statue. That's exactly how the pawnbroker works. They're very clever. Victorian bronies, probably. <laughs> uh, if you go to the right, uh, I yeah. want to look at the thing on the wall. This thing, or No, no, the... no, the, the, the calendar. Mm, yeah, there's blood here. And a bullet? Ah, look here. Like, there's a bullet in here. That was in there as soon as we came in, too. Oh, yes. So a that's not bullet. from Sherlock. <laughs> you can see the bullet is still lodged in there, in the wall. Presumably, Mr. Windyback wasn't practicing with his revolver in his spare time. Oh, yeah, you know what? He, that could have been his one shot. We're not sure. Ah, well. <sighs> Mr. Sholmes likes to practice in his drawing room whenever he can. He's very patriotic. patriotic. Wait, he shoots? He just has a gun he practices you, with? You didn't notice that from when we oh, went to gun, his house? Holes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you're right. Remember? It was his initials on the wall. Yeah, he's fucking crazy psychopath. Sorry? That explains a lot. It's all there in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, you know. <clears throat> Isn't that right, Iris? <laughs> ah, did I write something like that? Partly in jest, perhaps. In jest? Well, he doesn't <laughs> do it often. It's quite a dangerous pastime. I keep trying to click it, it's not going. He doesn't do it often. He shouldn't even do it once. Forget that for now, Runo. Let's examine the bullet. <laughs> What's that around the bullet hole? Is it blood? Hmm, a suspicious red stain on the calendar. Aha! I may well be able to help with that. Oh dear. What? There's nothing like the sight of blood to get the blood pumping, is there, Runo? Ah, uh, I have a feeling I'm not as bloody minded as you, Iris. There goes the security deposit. I did the sight of blood. It makes my blood run cold. There you have it, you see? When it comes to blood, we're all different types. <laughs> Yes, what a scientific observation. So you need this. Oh no, what is that scary looking thing? Hmm, Hurley and I haven't actually come up with a name for it yet. But as soon as you see it in action, you'll understand what it does. Oh jeez, watch. Um, is that gonna... 
Oh, it did, so it's blood. Because it's green now. Oh, the color of the blood stain has changed. There, does that make sense now? No. Yes, I think I'm starting to understand. Good! It works on the principle that different people have different types of blood, you see. Did it just identify the blood type? Yes, how wonderful. What, what the fuck was the purpose? The chemical it fires combines with the blood and makes it change color. So you can identify whose blood it is that you're looking at in a flash. So it actually... <clears throat> what? I mean... I feel like there's some nuance to this, but maybe... Isn't it? Uh, Isn't it? I bet you would say it's bleeding gray. Um, so whose who's blood are we looking at it then? Fucking Shrek? <laughs> I don't know, but if they bleed, they'll be green when you shoot them. Well, all the chemical does is turn the blood a different color, so... Just find someone whose blood turns the same color, and you'll know who it belongs to. In a flash! It's more like two flashes, really, isn't it? <laughs> The Hulk's screen. One flash or two. This could turn out to be a very valuable clue. You must make a note of it in the court record. I feel like she's like my big sister trying to remind me like what chores need to be done before she goes. <laughs> she's like, put it in the court record. It's Bruce Banner. Let's keep testing and adding the results of any other blood analysis to the portfolio. How many <laughs> blood types are we going to have? As long as I have reagent left, sure. Do I have a limited number of shots? Oh god. Uh, oh, the blood turned red on the wall again. Well, probably fades. Here we are. Though I'm not confident I can get it closed again. Oh, yes. That's a folding stereoscope. Really? This is a stereoscope. Mr. Sholmes showed us a picture yesterday and you were supposed to be able to see it in three dimensions. But for that, he used the great big contraption over there. Ah, uh, well, that's for use in public houses and places like that. It contains a carousel with all sorts of pictures inside. This little thing is a much simpler design for use at home. There are special shop ceiling prints you can use in them. I have a little collection myself. I wonder if I could make money out of these in Japan? It would be, it would be keeping my toilet sparking clean anyway. I don't understand the logic, but good for you. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, I was like, toilet What do you clean? mean? <laughs> like the money? This is a music what? box. Do you have them where you come from, Runo? Yeah, but I've never seen one as large as this in Japan. Oh, well, this will be a treat. Shall I have a listen? I wonder if it's going to sound different. No, it sounds the same. What do you think? Isn't it a pretty sound? It's what a beautiful like sound, the yes, the but... It's a little hard to enjoy when all the policemen in the room are giving you fierce looks. Never mind that. If any of them say anything, I'll tell Gregsy to have a word. Iris Wilson, Superintendent of Scotland Yard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, I want to investigate Bruce Banner, this apparently. broken shit. You know what, maybe they're right. Maybe it is Bruce Banner. Yeah. There's the article ledger here in Mr. Winderbank's notes and... Hmm? What's this? It looks as though someone has left a little photographic print behind. Wait, we have one like that. I think we have the same one. Oh. A look at the back, there's some writing. Is there? Ooh, show us, Susie. Show us. Oh, I turned that rubbish off. Oh, this one has oh, blood on it. Uh, article Wait, deposited we have, we have in one, one gentleman's overcoat. Do we have the um, other one? I would assume so. Let me see. Wait, was the blood there the whole time? Uh, no, ours does not have blood, actually. But ours is a little Wait. smudged here on the red. Do you see that? It is, but we'll hold up. 13th of February, 9 p.m., a small box. This one's for the coat, I would assume. Look, this is for the coat. Well, this is different. Yeah. I wonder why it's going to be useful. Pre-internet mm. cat pics. <laughs> this is for his coat. One pound, redemption deadline, 15th of April, 10.30 p.m. Yes, this must be the ticket for the overcoat that Ginny redeemed yesterday. And they're still wearing, which belonged to Mr. McGilded. I would never have expected the redemption ticket to be handwritten on the back of a photograph, though. It seems Mr. Windbank just used whatever piece of paper has happened to have on hand. You know what, he might just have a bunch of postcards that he just writes them on. Hmm. Which, <laughs> which goes to show it's from him. 
But this photograph of a cat, it looks very familiar, doesn't it? I'm sure I've seen this exact same picture somewhere else recently. Oh, yes, you're right. Very recently. It's the same as the one Ginny gave us earlier. Oh, of course. I was forgetting that she gave us that print. Well, what are you... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Regulate. What are you waiting for, Mr. Naruto? Get it out. Whip it out, Mr. Naruto. <laughs> all right, all right. Let the cogs turn. Uh, oh, they're slightly different angles. <gasps> we could put them in a stereoscope. This is a stereoscopic image. Do you see that? Hmm. They're not exactly the same. Use your eyes. You dare show a picture of me at the jail for lawyer jail for a thousand years. <laughs> no. We used to make these prints in uh, high school, actually. <gasps> D. We used to, I actually had to make one of these as an assignment using film cameras. Oh. Um, we would take three identical shots on a tripod, and then we would turn it into a stereoscopic image. It was really fun. 3D. Oh, three. I get it. I didn't realize three. It was three. I thought, I thought that was a mistake. D. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course. These two photographs hide an amazing secret. A secret? What does she mean? You must tell us, Iris, at once. And also, can we use your gun thing to shoot the blood stain on the photograph? I'm just wondering what color it is. Do you really, really want to know? Yes, we need you to tell us all you know about this pair of photographs. I don't know shit. 3 d d d Alright, I want to keep exploring, actually. I'll ignore the little girl. As I do. Um, the ledger that's open on the counter there really is enormous, isn't it? Must be an awful lot of work to keep track of all these hundreds of items in pawn. It's too much to think about. Better to sell it all and have a clear head if you ask me. But clearly, Mr. Winterback was very careful when it came to the articles in his care. Is that it? I was going to say, like, there's also that broken lamp thing right there. Uh, they're not letting me investigate the actual glass, so... That's okay. Uh, Probably not important, then. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if... We'll probably have to talk to, uh, Gweggy. Gweggy? Can I talk to Gweggy Sin? We'll have to probably talk to Gweggy Sin, unless he's in the room. Uh, Never mind. Don't we can talk so. to Poisty, man. Yes. This officer's been staring intently at the wall since before we came in here. Shh, keep it out. Oh, sorry. There's a major clue just here. Really? Then we must tell Gregzy at once. Lurpy. But as soon as I report it, that'll be it. I'll be stuck here even longer. Stuck here? What do you mean? Oh, thank you, Slurpee. Hydrate. I haven't been home in two days already. I needed the constable to relieve me and take over my shift. To be drinking water. Oh, oh, and a full body stretch. Okay. They really have okay, a tough time, the British police. Let me stand up. Stretch. Yeah, let me stand. That doesn't stop us investigating, though, does it? No, I suppose not. I'm fairly sure it was the calendar he was peering at. Okay, yeah, we were looking at the calendar. Okay, so that's what he was looking at. Makes right, sense. We stretch both ways. Ow, my back. Oh. I have been sitting <laughs> literally all day. I had so many meetings. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. After stream, we get the whole wax. Will I? Oh, boy. This is that strange contraption that lets you see pictures of things as if they're right in front of your eyes. Makes you think. When Mr. Sholmes gleefully showed it to us yesterday, we were blissfully unaware of that any of this was about to happen. Uh, maybe to look at the pictograph thing at the bottom right again. You want the bottom one? Uh, only because of the picture. No. Oh, okay. Fairly sure this contraption was here yesterday as well. Blah, blah, blah. And she just mansplains it to me. He talks about his toilet for some reason. Uh, we I might as well talk to her while we're here, yeah. See, maybe this will unlock it. Yeah. So, Iris, about these two photographic prints. The one we found here on Mr. Winterbank's counter, and the one Gina gave us before. You can see it's just slightly different. Yeah, the cast looking left in the first one, and, and, and straight forward. in the second one. I wouldn't have noticed unless I had them side by side, though. I would have thought they were basically the same. No, I was looking for it right away. I was like, huh. I wonder if, it's, if it mixes it together creates a different photo. Or, like, a piece of evidence we can't see, but I guess we'll find I'm out. I'm not sure. Or maybe in the back it creates a different thing. Actually, that's not quite right. Sorry? If you look carefully, the two prints aren't the same. Not exactly. They're not! <laughs> Have another look at them now. 
I mean, the cat is the most obvious difference. But even the snowman's a little off. Can you see that they're just slightly different from each other? I, I think so. It's very subtle, though. The bells. The thinking music. Well, what's the reason for the subtle difference between the two prints? So we can look at them through the magical glasses. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's because they're a set, you see. No, I don't. This pair of photographs is meant to be used in a stereoscope. Everyone in London is raving about them at the moment. But hold up, that means uh, that stereoscope. the, um... Why do I feel as though I've heard that word before recently? Hold up, can we they go must... back to the oven for a second? The oven? The evidence. Uh, this so... is this one, 13th of February, the other one was 15th. So there was nothing between the two. So 13th of February, the 13th and the 15th of April. No, 13th of February and the 15th of February. And they both both items wanted to be picked up in April. Well, yeah, that's two months from each other, isn't it? But that that would mean that those two. The point is, these two are involved with each other. Well, so what this proves to me is, if he just grabs whatever photograph is on his desk and he had a pair of these, then there were no items loaned except these two in succession. So nothing on the fourteenth, for example. Mm. So only a box on the thirteenth by somebody, and then the coat on the fifteenth. But I don't know what that means yet. Or like, my I don't question know why it's is, important. or it could be the other way around, where they said, "Oh, I want you to do it, but I want you to use this paper, and I want you to use this one." Uh, so someone, someone he think... asked people, to, he asked people to loan it using these. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the point is, they could they're involved regardless. The two pictures somehow. Yeah. But okay, continue. Sorry. You think. I don't think McGilded is giving the paper. I think that's the pawnbroker. Hmm. Because Why do I feel as though I've heard that word before recently? Oh, yes. So Mr. Sholmes showed us yesterday. Yes, in fact, it's right here. Ah, yes, of course. That magical machine that makes pictures look almost real enough to touch. <laughs> well, actually... It's quite possible to see the same depth in pictures even without one of those contraptions. What? Really? Please just show me the small one. Do you know how a pair of flat photographic prints can appear to have any depth in the first place? Cross your eyes. No, I have no idea. Oh, wonderful! Then I'll be able to tell you. She's over the moon. Bless her. <laughs> Should we let her explain, though? We really need to carry on investigating the scene. Yeah, tell me! I, for one, simply have to know. Oh, oh boy. Oh, That's actually no. important. Have you ever considered, Runo, how our eyes see depth in the world around us? Uh, well, I just opened them and it works. <laughs> <laughs> but That's the true. reason it works is because we have two eyes. Two eyes. Shocking. If you try closing just one eye at a time, I think you'll see straight away. What you see with your left eye, and what you see with your right eye are ever so slightly different. You get a different view with each eye. Yes, the position of objects seems to shift slightly. Exactly. And in your head, your brain uses that shift to estimate depth as it merges the two views into one. Why'd you take out the gun? That's how we can sense depth in everything we see. Uh, my brain really is amazing, isn't it? It does so much without telling me. Ah, I think I see. So the pair of photographs consists of left eye view and right eye view. Oh, the baby. I don't know, it's like that baby. You like all cats. Oh, well done, Susie, you're so quick. So, if you can persuade your brain to merge the two pictures together in your head, you'll be able to see depth in these prints. Oops, that was the wrong accent. Yes, Runo, you're beginning to understand. Hi, Benny, how are you doing? Hi, Benny. And a stereoscope's function is to act as your brain and allow you to do just that. What up, Benny? What up, Benny? Yes, but as long as you have two images, two eyes, and one brain, you can actually do it yourself without needing a stereoscope at all. You're busy. Okay, don't let me stop you from doing big Benny things. You can? Really? Busy Benny. Let's try it. See, let's see if you can view this pair of prints without the help of a stereoscope. 
Oh yes, I'm trying to have a go. Bizni. Susato-san really loves this kind of thing. You need to be able to cross your eyes. That's the main thing. I can't do that. Can you both do that? I can't. Cross your eyes? I can't cross my eyes. Cross my eyes? I uh, I think I can. I cannot. <laughs> I learned. To, I didn't know until lo for a long time, but Flair told me I can actually make one of my eyes go different directions. Yeah. <laughs> so Cat can do a lazy eye. You can just let yours relax <laughs> in one direction, keep the other one still. It's kind of scary. <laughs> No, Watch that. me and see if you can copy. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Make your eyes do this. We're about to do this with both models. Oh my god, we? I can't believe I actually did the animation. Oh Alright, let me try. Are you ready, Mr. Naruto? Oh god. This is Sato. Hey, how's that? Wonderful, now it's your turn, Runo. I, I don't think I can. I don't know. Bridge your nose with both eyes at the same time. It's hard. Not exactly an easy task when two people are staring at you cross-eyed. <laughs> Is it hard? I'd be so self-conscious. I don't oh, think man. I can. I'll try it right now. Uh, I feel like I I'm just swapping you, between one eye and the I other. I video could actually like, show it. I'm putting a, a finger in front of my nose and I'm trying to... <laughs> I keep switching between which eye I'm using though. I'm not using Your eyes are like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough practice. Now let's try looking at the prints. I mean, I don't know if there's much of a secret here, though. Start by staring at one print and slowly start crossing your eyes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Literally done that unconsciously while concentrating during a game. You should see two overlapping images like this. Oh, God, help me. Uh, <laughs> you try now, Runo. I'm just going to have to give it a try, I suppose. Oh... Uh. Ah, my eyes. Do the print split into two images for you? Now the next step. No. No. Is to put the pair of prints side by side like this and then try to cross your eyes again. I can't. I can't. I can't. Ah, my eyes hurt. The prints should slowly merge together until my life from the 3DS. So I just finished the third case and what the fuck? Yeah, welcome. It's the fifth case now. They form a new single image in the center. Oh, yes! Mr. Naruto, it works! I can see in the middle now! It looks so real! Oh my god, look at me. Jenna, don't look, they're crossing it looks their so eyes. Real. Yeah, <laughs> they look, look like cows. All day. They look like cows. I wouldn't advise that. Your eyes might start to hurt. Your turn, Runo. Oh boy, howdy, I don't want to. Pretend you're looking through the two pictures and slowly cross your eyes. Keep adjusting the position to- I can't do- I can't do it. I think it actually works by the like, way. Like this, this is it? I can't do this. I- uh, fine. Just overlap them for me, please. Damn it. There, you managed it! No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> so now you know how stereoscopic images work. I don't. Well, I don't know who discovered it, but it really is quite extraordinary. It is kind of smart that it exists at all, to be honest. So what do you think of those stereoscopic prints then, Runo? They're certainly amazing, but it isn't easy to get the knack of viewing them properly. No, some people find it easier than others. But that's why contraptions like this exist, for people who find it tricky. Yes, give that to me! Oh, I recognize that. We saw one over there yesterday, didn't we? Uh, it's like, I'm gonna be taking this home with me for, um, evidence. Press this little evidence. knob here. Oh, what happened? Did this take a picture? No, you, a you put the pair of photos A cat's for a neighbor's inside. cat that was permanently cross-eyed. Oh. Dizzy, oh, dizzy. I see. And then you have a new 3D image. Mm -hmm. It's still amazing, even though I roughly know how it works now. Well, London seems to agree with you. Stereoscopes are very popular at the moment. You can find one of these folding contraptions in lots of households in the capital currently. But if these little machines are so affordable, surely there's no need to go around staring cross-eyed at pictures like you hate them. 
but it's much more satisfying to be able to see the effect with your own eyes. Well, I think so in any case. Stereoscopic pictures. I've never even heard of them until yesterday. We've certainly learned a lot about them, but I wonder if it's knowledge I'll actually ever need. Yeah, you will. If it's anything like this, yeah, you will. Waiting for a stereotopic picture of a dead body. Oh, jeez. Uh, do you well, have anything else to tell me? No. Okay, no, let's go like investigate the bag. Yep, the important room. We probably just have to move. Oh, never mind. Behind that door is the stereoscopic room. Sorry, oh my god. Stereoscopic I'm, room. I'm so used to <laughs> seeing stereoscope. I just glazed <laughs> over. It's the uh -huh. storeroom, isn't it? That's what Gregzy said. Yeah, but you look ridiculous crossing your eyes. Yeah, some people don't care. Yeah. Yes, and that's where I saw that dreadful scene last night. Through the little window in the door. Music it looks like he got fight. shot from his front. I wonder if he got shot in the back as a hole. Well, based on the ballistics, it looks like he got shot from the front. Mm. Mr. Winterback face down on the floor with Gina beside him. As the accused legal representative, you have the right to examine the scene, Mr. Naruto. We must make a thorough investigation. Yes, of course. And we will. Behind that door, that's, that's the real scene of the crime. I'm gonna shoot everything with paint. Don't worry, if there are any clues in there, I'll find them. That's true, I kinda trust you. We have a we have yes. a very strong team right now, I have to say. Very buff. How do I move? You use the move button, probably. You're right. <laughs> a new location has been We have a lot of places we can go. Oh wow, that's a chunky um chalk line. Uh yeah, big big blood stain too, actually. Hmm. Did that happen to you? Poor Iris. She's clamped up completely. Oh, and she's usually so static, usually. Iris is bound to find this difficult. I read your mind. I'm so sorry. In a different accent. <laughs> After all, Mr. Winnie Banks, life is taken in this very room only last night. What was that? Just thinking about, like, a, oh, a firefight. Even he was surprised. Like, oh, goodbye. Did you just leave? Wait, Inspector. He's back. What is it now, Sunshine? You took one look at me and you tried to run away. You think Scarlet and Yon, Inspector, would have run away from us? Some jumped up little defensively idea? Maybe. I just, well. Okay. I've never seen her ladyship looking like that before, is the thing. Aww. I didn't know what to say to her. So you weren't running away from me, you were running away from a ten-year-old. Well, he didn't want to spook her. That chest is suspicious, by the way. Yeah, it's very red. Right now. And it's open. I'm afraid this is all a little too much for young Iris. Some gentle reassurance might go a long way, perhaps, Inspector. Eh. He's like, shit. Eh. <clears throat> Don't, don't, um, don't trouble yourself on doodly, your lady ship. I mean, at least you're not dead, are you? Oh, she's like terrible at this. I, I don't think that went very well. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe he should have run after all. I'm in the middle of investigation here, sunshine. I told you not to get under my feet. What? You didn't even do anything. You're the one fucked up. We have to investigate. To investigate and do ourselves. Yes. I'd like to hear more of what the socially inept inspector has to say. Who? Oh, really? An inquiry into how Mr. Sholm's operation is going. I kind of want to examine first, actually. Mm. Can we, can we spray this? The police have marked the position of the body of the chalk line. That's a lot of blood. Oh, if it's the same color, then we know the blood is. That's what I'm saying. I want to color it. Oh, Mr. Windybank, he was a nice old man. Well, he was shot just once through the heart. Oh, yikes. Most likely, the fella died instantly. He wouldn't have felt a thing. Oh, Lance, thank you for the follow. Uh, I, I feel like that is not true. 
Go you can ahead. survive a little bit without yeah, your heart. Yeah, I, I was gonna say he could have survived. Well, he he wouldn't have survived long, but he would have. Uh, <laughs> he would have felt like, it. He would have been like, my body's going cold. Mm -hmm. My blood is draining on my body. <laughs> what is that accent? <laughs> Ew, do I? <laughs> this must be his blood then. <laughs> shoot it with paint. Ah, ah so excited to shoot it with the goom. I don't like to ask such a rich time, Iris, but she's already I getting perhaps... her gun out. <laughs> don't worry, Susie. I'm ready for action. <laughs> Let's see what color it is. Blue! Uh... And now we know the color of the chemicals turn when it reacts to Mr. Windybag's blood. Mm. We're gonna keep like a little bio of each chemical, right? It doesn't match our analysis of the blood stain we found in the main shop. No, but let's add the sample to the others we've already collected anyways. Damn, we feel like a real our investigator now. I know. <laughs> Real Emma Sky moment. Oh, good old Windy Emma Bag Sky. is blue blooded. <laughs> He's blue blooded. He's a lizard person. Literally. <laughs> Look at all these articles that have been deposited. This room Actually, is no, stuff full of them. Hold up. Wait, wait. No, it wasn't lizard. Was it sea creatures? What are you talking about? Could have been the true king of England. Uh, let me double I can't check. Can't believe how many there are. Lobsters, crabs, pill bugs, shrimp, octopus, crayfish, and scallops. Okay, He's, so he, a fish person. <laughs> He's a fish. <laughs> Crustacean. A bicycle, a gramophone, musical instrument, and some enormous paintings. Look. Pieces of different people's lives, quietly gathering dust in here together. Oh. There's something very peaceful about the atmosphere in here. Or at least there would be, if not for the chalk outline on the floor and the policeman shuffling around. I actually, I actually agree with that one. Yeah, like it's very peaceful in a pawn shop. Like in the back? Yeah, there's lots of stuff to look at. You never, you never really know what's going to be back there sometimes when you're mm. looking. Not much I could do about that, sunshine. I guess that's all one thing. All right, let's look at this chest. I wonder what was in it. The suspicious chest. Oh, maybe this is the small box. Check-in moment. What did I miss? Uh, nothing much. I am not winning at Mario Kart. I am uh, investigating a crime scene. Out of all the articles in the storeroom, this is the only thing that shows any sign of being ransacked. That's a body who died. Uh, miss the, the pawnbroker from yesterday. Do you remember him? The one who kept trying to shoot himself? He's dead. <laughs> he finally got to. The pawnbroker. I called it. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Ginny's being blamed for the murder. Make sure that chest isn't a mimic. What is it, Iris? That's... Oh, no! It's the one with the manuscript. That's the box file that my manuscript was being kept in. God damn it. So they took it. Iris' unpublished oh, story, the... the Hound of the Baskervilles. They wanted the evidence. Surely oh, that's my God. not what Just... all this is. What if they? it's all connected? Yeah, you knew. Sorry, Iris, but if you ask me, sold it. Without telling you. I just make Gina more and more Australian every moment. I was stuck inside the box at once. I actually think that uh, yes. this is all connected to the very first case. Oh, them standing over there gave me a big sense of skill. <laughs> ah. It was there. Iris' story was there. Oh, really? It was. Well, then what else was in it? Oh. I think Arthur Conan Doyle bought it. Hmm. That's good news, isn't it, Iris? Um, yes. Um. I mean, of course, I believed Hurley when he said he deposited it here, but still, it's a relief to actually see it. Really, because that's not a very well-hidden frown. I mean, there must be something else in there, right? Iris's manuscript has been entered into the court record. Hmm. hmm. She's not telling us what was in it with it, though. Let's look at the gun. Th this is a revolver. A real one! Sus. <laughs> and quite, quite possibly the murder weapon. He used to take Mr. Windybank's life. Well, we know that's not that's true. It pocket. only had one bullet. What's the matter, Susie? You and Runa look like you're about to faint. Well, it's just that... I've rarely seen a gun in the flesh. Or in the metal. And I've had issues with guns in the past. Oh, really? But anyway, we... Oh, that's right! The fucking... The first case. What am I saying? But anyway, mm -hmm. we saw Mr. Windybank with this yesterday, didn't we? The sweaty band. Oh, jeez. It's <laughs> kind of a shame he died anyways. <laughs> the way he ran for the gun, though, for real. Must be the same gun. And last night, when I looked through the spy hole in the door to the storeroom here, 
Gina was holding it, yeah. There was the same gun I saw. Why are Iris's devices gun shaped though? Uh, she just likes guns. Uh, I actually would consider more like a launcher shape, like a cannon, more than a gun. Because mm. uh, it's just a very basic shot type thing. Mr. Windbank told us you only ever had a single bullet load in the revolver, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Can we look in and see if there's a bullet? I don't know. Well, it's empty now. The one and only bullet he had in his gun has been fired. So oh. you can be fairly certain that only a single shot was fired from this revolver. Hmm. And it has been shot. <laughs> Maybe um, on the wall? Uh, I'm willing to bet it's the one... Well, I don't know. The timing is strange, isn't it? Because the green blood must belong to one of the people who ran away, I would think. Hmm. Maybe he fired at them first, like near the door, and then they got shot, and then uh, he ran into the storeroom to lock himself in, and they shot him through the door. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I we're guess not we'll even. Find out. We're not even clear if anything was actually stolen yet. Like, so far, it looks like everyone was here for the disc. If I had to be honest. Mm -mm. Did I not investigate the chalk outline? Iris? Don't worry, I'm alright. But we must find the true culprit. I mean, that's my job. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't see any discs in here either. Although, it's not in the box, it's not in the coat. Can we I can talk, talk to, to Gregzy? Oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> Scene of the crime, tell me about it. So, Inspector, what do you make of the crime scene here? Whoops! That's the wrong button. Bryce! Pshaw, you guys got to have it. You use them. It's what it is look like. Not more, not less. Um. Iris, could you lend me a hand? So, Gregsy, what do you make of the crime scene here? Must he contaminate the crimes he was nasty chips? Do you allow me to humbly explain? Last night, in short, after one hour of one o'clock in the morning, Scotland and Yard police attended the scene. Sorry, I'm trying to click. My mouse might be dying. The one and only door to the storm room is found locked in from the inside. So it's locked from the inside. Oh boy. The lock appears to be broken now, though. Is that a police officer doing it? Oh, fuck! We got the MIDI! MIDI! <laughs> Hello, are you winning, son? Okay, my first thought when you said that was, Are you eating, though? <laughs> are you winning, though? <laughs> are you pooping? Hello, everyone. Pop-Tart God, thank you for the follow. I hope you all had a good birthday stream with MIDI. Yay. Who is the winner? Who is Who the overall Mario Kart winner? I need to know. We need to know. Is that the police officers doing? Baby beach. Um, quite right, ma'am. Are you winning some? You look at me to smash in the door and it's Happy humbly birthday, as possible. Mini. As humbly as possible. Uh, no Kat worries. and I are playing The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for those Wait, who don't know. Oh, Skelly, oh. thank you for the host. As you can see, the victim was discovered prostrate. Uh, Prostrate. Pro prostrate. That means face down. Yeah, prostrate on the floor. Um, that's wise. Why would he use that word though? In the next aforementioned body was discovered in the violent gut a child. What's the what's the other word called again? Prostrate versus apostate. I might be thinking of something else. Prostrate just apostate. means you're lying down, right? I thought apostate was like something to do with the church. I'm gonna think of something else. A what? Apostle? You think you were beasting in the end? God damn, Mitty. As soon as I leave, you just started bussing. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Ginny? She's my friend, you know, Inspector. It's the straw. The hapless girl was stood up on the floor, dead to the world. She's still alive, you know. Yes, when I saw her, she appeared to be unconscious. I'm afraid to say, she had the gun that was used in her hand. No! Presumably it's the gun that's still down there on the floor now. Get in your pocket. 
We found the key to the door as well. Hmm. Oh. What? The key to the storeroom? Oh, that was the wrong voice. <laughs> and you say, the storeroom would have been locked from the inside, Inspector. Correct. Always leaves her lady ship's friend. It's something of a sticky situation, I'm afraid. Bro. Bro. Good fry. Just like that he's munching in front of her. Look at his face. He's like... Obviously, a personal opinion is that all, it's all some sort of misunderstanding. Well, of course it is, Inspector. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Don't how operate. Sholmes is doing. Pixie, do you know anything about Hurley? Is the operation finished? You see? Is Hurley alright? Oh, well, um, the, the thing is, um... Don't mean to your worst, Inspector, please. Everyone's crying. You, you don't mean to say that Mr. Sholmes is... He's, is... He has the half fries in his other hand. He just switches no, them no, off. No, no, no. The operation's done and dusted. It's just that... Man... Oh, oh, she's chucking oh, him. Okay. She's chucking him. Yes, ma'am. He's afraid. Look at they her sassy look. The general anesthetic. 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 Well, damn, my brain. Anesthetic. This latest thing renders the whole body insensitive. The whole body and anesthetized? Wow, that's a hard one. Anesthetize? Anesthetize? Anest. Anest. Help. Anest Help. <laughs> Anest. Anest. Anesthetize. Close enough. Is that even possible? Unless this, this it time. means the operation will be completed well, complete what the patient is fast asleep. Goodness, in the Empire of Japan, we, we just managed to provide laughing gas for a tooth extraction. Oh, jeez. The trouble is, the latest thing isn't always the greatest thing if you follow my meaning. They couldn't get the medication to work at first, so it took hours for him to not off, so mm -hmm, I hear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that the ops finished, they, they can't get him to wake up, apparently. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of anesthesia. Oh, my. No one knows if he's... Is the anesthesia still in the system? Anesthetic. Or the is, anesthetic in the system, which is blokes just plain exhausted. But anyway, all they can do is stand back and watch him until he comes around again. Well, he's not dead, so that's a good thing. Yeah, but some people can't get out of the state. It's coma. Mm. The moment he opens his eyes, your ladyship, I swear, I should get get word to you. What a surprise. <laughs> Even in matters of life or death, Mr. Sholmes has to do things his way. That's so true, though. Mm -mm. That's it? Okay. There's nothing else there? Mm. Are we missing something? Yeah, Professor Layton, it. we're just gonna... <laughs> Anything? Like a 3D printer. This is how I get hit coins too. Uh, nothing. All right. Bella Bean. Oh, she's trying Bean. to get a ladybug. Oh, delicious ladybug. Let's bug. go back to the main shop. See if there's anything. Uh, oh, no? come on. She's just looking at me. Um, uh, don't blame uh, Sholmes. Uh, He's uh, on medication. Uh, Maybe we can go check on him. Uh, what do you think? Uh, 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 I'll just go everywhere actually. Oh, there's a horse here. Hello. Nay, nay. That looks like a donkey. There's still a Scotland Yard carriage outside Windebanks. I never imagined we'd be investigating a case so close to home. Poor Iris, she's very upset by all this. I'm sorry. I was there. I should have done more. None of this is your fault, Uno. So please, don't apologize. But I... It's the criminals who are to blame for all this. So let's investigate and work out how to catch them. Mm. Yes, you're right. Hey, this one's for finding blood, this one's for finding fingerprints, and this one's for and this murder. And this one's for murder with a gun. Blam, right in the head. Well, oh, moving on. Yeah, oh, we're so literally loud. right next door. <laughs> so we've been two months that we've been taking lodgings here by Mr. Sholmes' office. Oh, look at all the birdhouses. Still can't quite believe it. I never expected things would turn out like this. When Hurley comes back home, let's have a big party. That's a great idea. I'm sure it won't be long. Mr. Sholmes is very tough. I mean, look at him. He, he's, a uh, Zambo. I don't know what 
else to look at? Like, what else do I need to, uh... I guess we go everywhere. I guess so. We'd be in trouble if Iris ever makes a device that's multifaceted, I know. God forbid there's more than one, uh, thing we do. Oh, don't go back home. D don't go back- Oh, we left tea on the stove? That sounds like a miss. That's fine, though. Uh, show him the suite. I don't think we need anything. We go to the hospital, see if he's sleeping. Nope. Huh. You know, usually, I don't know where to go when I get stuck like this. That's a fire hazard. I was gonna say, maybe shoot the bed to see if there's blood on it, so we can get the color. <clears throat> can you present something to him? That's a good idea, actually. Uh, I'll just try everything. Is that what I think it is? Y your ladyship's latest? Yes, my latest story. It's called The Hound of the Baskervilles. I must fascinating tell you, ladyship. Fascinating, um... I don't suppose... There'd be any mention of my humble self in this late tale this time. Hmm, good question. I can't really remember. Oh, Bell is under my standing desk. I see, I see. Well, I w would you, ladyship? It's just the way this publication with eager anticipation. Hit the Philippines. Uh, well, she's like dangerously underneath my standing desk. Oh. That's you scary. need to worry, Inspector. I'm sure if you do appear, you won't be doing anything particularly remarkable. Can you not touch me? <laughs> so for those who don't know, uh, I had a regular desk, um, and I bought one of those like standing desk things because once we started working from home during COVID, I needed to be able to stand uh, just to get work. And so I bought one, and it's one of those that like elevates off the top of your desk, so you can go, you know, it goes all the way down, or it can be brought up. But that means there's a space underneath the standing desk on top of the regular desk and she keeps pawing at my keyboard mm -hmm. in between the space to try and pull it. You have one of those standing desks too? Yeah, there. they're nice. Yeah, she's very excited because she thinks it's a little hidey hole. They could be rested too, Sunshine. I didn't mean it like that. And even if I did, you wouldn't have bitten her ladyship's head off, would you? Uh, what else? Blood. Maybe the blood samples? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering how this is gonna look, actually. Just lower it all the way and squish her. Oh no! Gear! Inspector Gregson, could you give me your opinion about this, do you think? Oh, he has no idea. I don't That's the chest, I'm true. Trying. I'm with the general public. I mean, I think it would also not make sense to share with the prosecution. Ugh. No, don't smoosh the bean. No In that case, Gregzy, how about some herbal tea? Kind of want to make tea now, but it's 10 p.m. Yeah, that'll keep you awake for hours. <laughs> ah, lovely. How very much. Jail for gear. Jail for a thousand years. <laughs> you don't mind sharing that then. Oh, oh, bees? Oh, no, I already did that. Sorry. Let me just skip this because this is the same. That's your skipping music. I'm scared. Man. Oh, we should examine this, shouldn't we? To like actually look at it so we can update this shit. This is a ticket that Gina brought in here yesterday. Yes, I haven't been trusted to her by Mr. McGilda two months earlier. Article deposited one gentleman's overcoat. And the other redemption ticket was in the pocket of that coat. Yes, for a small box deposited two days before the omnibus incident. Could that have anything to do with all this? I don't know. I think so. Hopefully it updates. So this is the second of the two photographic prints of the cat. And it really does look like a wagahai. Looks exactly the same as the first photograph at first glance. I suppose that was so compelling. Actually, now we have both pictures. I could have another go at viewing them as a stereoscopic image. You're, you're gonna make me cross my eyes right now. Okay, here we go. I, I don't think you have to actually do it physically. Uh, 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 my eyes. 
Oh my god, no, you do have to cross your eyes. Yeah, Jesus I can't Christ. I can't do right, it. Give me a second, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, you, <laughs> you want me to open it? Give me a sec. I, I, I'll try. I feel like there's something weird behind the cat, but I can't really tell. Like for the switch. There's something on the left of the cat that I don't like. Wait, you start to cross my eyes, look at it, right? Yeah. I'm trying right now. You could use the Labo VR thingy. It's not working. For it, me. I don't think it's gonna happen. I was hoping this would update the uh, this thing actually, but it didn't. Hmm. You can present the picture to him and see what he says. He's gonna do it again. They keep they keep busting this up, so I feel like I should be doing something with this. Oh, yeah, actually, at home I'm doing it right now. Holy shit. Is I, it I happening? Is it happening? Are you winning? Yeah, that's actually kind of cool, though. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm doing it right now, but it's actually working and it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I'm looking for it to see if anything? there's anything I can see. I Hold up. Notice... It's hard to do it, so I need, I need to actually focus. I can't, I can't do it either. My eyes are not built like this. I don't see anything immediately. I can't tell. It looks like there's a bear behind the cat, but that could just be the shading of the bush. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna take a seat. I'm tired. I'm standing. I can't. I can't. I'm taking a seat behind the bench again. I can't see anything particular about this photo. Hmm. Like I, I, I don't know. I promise that uh, I put the desk down because Bella is no longer underneath. I did not just squish her. No! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's go yeah. to the other room. Jinx finished streaming. Host o'clock. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the host code, kid. I hope you had a good stream with Jinx. Kind can I, can I just like... use the stereoscope? Like, can I just, can I just use this? No. Please? No. Maybe there's a piece of evidence we missed somewhere. Mm. Oh! Why is this not colored anymore? Green blood. It just seems wrong somehow. Oh, there are all sorts of different colors. There are pretty pinks and purples too, you know. Like I said, everyone's blood is different. I wonder what color my blood would turn out. Actually, I don't want to know. <laughs> That's fair though. Is that all we had to do? I'm missing something. I wanted to see the cameras actually. I wasn't sure. I'm hoping to re-examine the blood pu puddle inside the the thing now, like in, on the floor. Now that it's blue, maybe. Let me just do a quick mm. check while we're here. Yep. I don't want to miss Good anything. Yeah. How's everyone's day coming along, by the way? Uh, it's been a pretty uh, long Wednesday uh, for me, uh, but uh, I'm pretty uh, happy uh, we're finally playing Ace Attorney again. Me too. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Puts on a Spider-Man suit. Uh, let's check my this time. But I'll look around. Are you doing the pizza time? Yeah, it's the same. Maybe I present the manuscript to her? Oops, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Let's it again just to make sure. I didn't mean to. Steep, steep, steep. Maybe just some new evidence. Mm, well, the only time I can present to her is in this room, right? So let me move back here real quick. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't even check it. That's a long fucking manuscript. I mean, it's for a whole novel. Hound about the Baskervilles. How did Susato san know the exact title of this unpublished story? I suppose I'll just have to wait until she's ready to explain it to me, like three months from now. I'm so sorry. She's gonna have to explain it to us before she goes. No, I think she's gonna wait. Well, that would be very useless. Is that it? I literally can't look at anything else. Oh, this is the words. I see some words on the side. It's probably the actual just gibberish, actually. They wouldn't put the whole book in. Yeah, you're right. Mm. 
I'm not sure. Not missing a converse. Can I go back to Gina? I felt like prison was empty. Maybe I did not go to prison. Poor Gina. I did not go back to prison. <laughs> Oops. They're probably not there anymore. Maybe. Gina doesn't appear to be here. Oh, okay. Is that it then? I feel like she must be in questioning at the moment. Oh, but wait a minute. What is it, Iris? Well, if you examine the scene here carefully, there's another possibility, isn't there? She broke out? Ginny could have slipped the key from the jailer when he wasn't looking and escaped. Oh my. Well, why would she do something like that? It would only make her situation worse. Calm down, Runo. I was only joking, of course. It's very possible, though. Oh. Uh, you had me worried there. I thought it was a great deduction. Yes. Must be a way with the words, Iris. You're so wonderfully persuasive. Yeah, versus her lock, we're like, hmm. Perhaps you don't fully understand the weight of your words carry. Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I suppose a light-hearted great detective is a contradiction in terms. Well, in the same situation, I'm sure Mr. Sholmes would have just thrown his head back and guffawed. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that's helpful, Mr. Naruto. Well, anyway, it looks like we won't be able to talk to Gina for a while. We should try to make progress with our investigation in the meantime. Oh no, but I was lost. R yes, come along then, Runo. Come along, Susie. She's like literally an adult. <laughs> Is he up yet? We look, um, let's see if the. Oh, can we look around? Uh, we did last time. We've There's investigated no blood on your bed, most right? of this. No. Although that would make sense. He got shot. Uh, okay, well, time to go. Hmm. No chemicals Where should to I make go? frogs gay. Uh, I technically didn't go to Shoals this week. Let's just see if there's anything here. Any blood? <laughs> there's his, <laughs> there's his cut marks. <laughs> ah yes, the letters V and R inscribed on the wall in bullet holes. VR? Isn't it the initials of the queen or something? That's right, but Hurley isn't a very good shot, sadly. Can't remember how many times he had to replaster that patch of wall before he managed to make the letters. Is he a patriot <laughs> or a plasterer? <laughs> Look at those chemicals. We didn't actually Maybe see the machine in the back, now that I think about it. Look at Mr. Sholmes' desk, it's completely clear. It all looks totally different from that without an enormous machine on it. Hurley lives in an absolute mess all the time. He never notices when things go missing. Even Mr. Sholmes must have noticed that huge lump of metal is no longer there. Surely. That's a good point. We didn't see this in the back room. That's where I would have expected it to be. What's up with those chemicals? Uh, I don't know, but we've None. already investigated them. We wish... Uh, no, it's the desk stuff. Okay. That's fine. Mm. Fire is burning comfortingly in the grate again today. It's a very different feeling to a Japanese hibachi somehow. Hurley's been working on his disguises recently. He's been dressing as a woman mainly. Oh, really? Mr. Sholmes dresses in women's clothes. I should know getting interested all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> yes, you see that lady in the photographic print on the mantelpiece? That's Hurley. He's quite stunning. <laughs> yes. Yes. Embrace it. Honestly, it, uh, uh. this is one of those things where, like, you never really, you never really realize how fluid your gender presentation is. Sometimes you think, like, oh, this person's so masculine, you would never look good as a girl or whatever. And then you try it, and you're like, oh, oh no, I could. Oh my. You can't say that and then not show me the photo. Hello. Oh, unbelievable. That would have been a lot of money to draw that photo. It couldn't have been that much money. These are all mementos of Mr. Sholmes' past cases, I think. If he'd been involved in my case, I wonder if the beefsteak from Le Carnival would be on display here. <laughs> Haley says that what, what, what? Wag, wag you? What did I? I must have missed it, hold on. Haley says that waggy is a memento too. Who's waggy? He tried really hard to get that little fellow to stay on those shelves at first. Oh, the cat! 
Fucking mm -hmm. Wagahai. Thank you, Forever Cat. I was like, what are you talking about? Wait for a... Wow. In the background. But I need to give up, Leon. Maggie just wouldn't keep still. <laughs> he just put him on the shelf and was like, all right, yeah, stay. Like stay. And the cat's like, wah, wah, wah. Give me pets and food. That's actually hilarious. Uh, oh, tea. Delicious. The cat, what was he expecting? I don't think he's ever had a cat before. It's an unusual way to make use of a large, of a huge metal chest as a table for tea and coffee. But it is a very sturdy box, and I've noticed that it's always locked. Ah, uh, well, that's because... That box contains some of my most important things. Which you have no intention of telling me more about, judging from that guarded smile. Mm hmm You're like her... Invention section, I guess? Mm, Come to think yes, of it, I haven't seen you doing much writing recently, Virus. Sorry, what were you saying? It's very different, her zone. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit- I'm a little bit stuck for a new story idea, actually. Well, you could consider using what happened to Mr. Natsume, perhaps. Ooh, yes, that's a fabulous idea, and a great title has just popped into my head as well. The Adventures of the Ketty Man. How's that, Runo? It's an Your beautiful tea set is there on the table as usual. A cup of one of your special herbal blends always helps me to relax when I'm feeling the strain. I'll be right Poor back. Hurley. He hasn't had a drop of tea today. I wish I could take some to the hospital for him. Can you go take your pee pee? Okay. Yeah, it's a cute CC. It's not like a palisman from the Owl House. I just started watching that. I'm so happy about it. British actor stresses a woman all the time. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, she's doing some velocity tests over here. There's really no down ideas, isn't it, Iris? Let's see. What does it say today? Ah, uh, the Boscombe Valley mystery. We visited Boscombe Valley recently for a picnic, you see, but I forgot to bring the tea. So when Hurley became thirsty, he decided to drink from Boscombe Pool. He gave himself an awful tummy ache. Oh, dear. Hurley sat there, miserable as can be in that field of flowers after that, just like when you saw me yesterday. That really is an unsavory tale. <laughs> Sherlock is suffering, that's what I'm learning. That's a charming little white shelf and full of charming little bottles, too. Her side of the room is so well decorated. But the contents of them aren't quite so charming, it seems. I'm so close now. I've nearly developed a rainbow smoke grenade, you know. So you're still working on those colorful but funny explosives, are you? I tell you what. When I've perfected it, I'll fire the first shot at you, Runo. Oh, God. What, what an honor. Uh, I feel like this isn't where I need to be. Head pats. I'm lost. Let me talk to Sasato. Let me get my head pads up here. Hello. Thank you, Buttery. Ah, oh, some good head pads. Thank you very much. I'll tell Cat to put theirs on as soon as they get back. So I'll keep I'll keep the head pads until they get back, okay? Am I just supposed to examine this? It's spring at last and the weather is warmer now. But I love the smell of the fire and the steam rising from the kettle. Oh, how about some tea, Reno? Thanks, Iris, but I'm alright for now. With the green tea susato Sun makes me from time to time and Iris' has unique herbal infusions. Rainbow smoke for our favorite gay boy, Ryu. True. <laughs> Cat is AFK right now. Sorry about that, buttery. Uh, this place is paradise for a true tea lover. You're sure? You know I always have plenty whenever you're feeling thirsty. Do I have notes here or something? We've only been here in London for about two months, but my desk is starting to look a little messy already. Hurley's desk is far worse, you know. I'm sure if I try hard enough, I can make my desk as messy as Mr. Sholmes's. Cat, we got head pats. Hmm, I wonder... You don't think I can? 
Well, it takes a certain genius to reach that level of disorder, you know. Wow. The path of two is long and arduous, it seems. Uh, buttery redeemed head pads. You need to put your head pad on. Oh. Give me a second, then. Oh, yeah, we got flowers. We never investigated that. We're rather lucky to find that old aquarium left behind here. The prawns we put in there are doing rather well. And the anemones, too. Hmm. Apparently, tanks like those are very popular in London before I was born. Oh, you mean they're not anymore? I think people discovered it was too much effort to clean them out and change the mm -hmm. water all the time. I can believe that. Prawns and anemones are fun for a while. Am I writing a melody? If disorder is genius, then my dad's a freaking Einstein. <laughs> Ira will be so jealous. Oh, this looks like a telegram. It is, but you mustn't open it. Not under, not under any circumstances. All right, I won't. Now then, let's see. <laughs> Put on her extra specs. What I just say? Don't open it. Don't worry, I won't. With this special concoction I've developed, I'll be able to see through the envelope without having to open it. No, that's not allowed either. Oh, but I'm sure it's something important. Little teeny says sure can be mischievous. <laughs> mm -hmm. She really wants to know. I know. Uh, I've only been here. No, I've done this already. Oop. Mm. She shaded me for not being smart enough. Mm -hmm. I'll take a guess and say that we haven't found anything useful. Maybe. Oh, you mean actually? Yes. Yeah. It's not a spade, it's a shovel! What's the fucking difference? Oh no! A pick is something else entirely! Now I've dug myself into an even deeper hole. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, this doesn't feel right. I feel like I should be at the crime scene somewhere. Yeah. Um. What am I missing? I mean, I assume we have have we presented everything we can to her. What am I presenting to her? Our manuscript. I think we already did, but um. I mean, you could try. Oh, my manuscript. Mr. Sholmes said he deposited it at Windybanks and he had. But it's so strange. What is it about this particular story? I worked so hard on it. Why would Hurley say I can't publish it? I'm afraid I have no idea. All you can do is wait until he's ready to tell you, I suppose. Oh, maybe it's because Hurley isn't in it enough. Maybe I didn't give him enough good lines. Yes, maybe. I wish I could say that definitely isn't the reason, but I can't. <laughs> Maybe we'll present the blood samples? The way you can identify differences in people's blood like this is amazing. You really are a genius, Iris. I know, I am. <laughs> if Hurley no. and I put our minds to it, we could really shake up Britain's chemists and alchemists. And you could shake up Japan's lawyers and judges, wouldn't you, Mr. Naruto? I don't think that's a good thing. Oh, for sure. Even if I didn't I think that is to. actually. <laughs> I think the point is that this, this is like them pretty much saying like, the the type of lawyers and like mm -hmm. investigations are archaic, mm. and they want to upgrade them. I think that was the point of um, what you call it of uh, our boy Kazuma. Mm -hmm. That was what he was trying to do, I think. Hmm. Thank you. I wish I could like control and look around myself. I know. I know. I would love to. I guess we should look at the room one more time just in case. Oh. Maybe, hold on. Let me look at my shit again. I I think it's suspicious that we haven't added this blood thing to the thing. Can we look I, at I it? thought I clicked on it before, but nobody said anything. Oh, I might have missed. Awkward. There's, oh. <laughs> there's something rather troubling something... here. Go ahead. Yeah, there's something rather troubling here. Well, I was gonna read it. It's all good. I've noticed. If it's me, you mean? Yes, it looks like blood, doesn't it? I wonder if susato sana picked up on that. Well, in that case... Yes, we need Iris! We should show this to her before we forget... Okay, this is what you wanted me to do. There we oh, go! Oh, no, we need, we need I to was, update it. I was gonna say, it was upsetting me that they never updated that there was a ticket on the back. Alright, the qu question is, whose color blood is it? Um, That's important to know. I don't know. Probably not blue. If it's green, that'll be interesting. Yeah, it looks like blood. Let's see. 
I would say it's from a gloved finger. Almost certainly a glove made of leather. Hmm. <laughs> Well, don't worry, Runo. You can leave the rest to me. Just smack a puff in the air. Can you imagine having to hold the damn thing? Purple! Oh, That's geez. three different people's blood. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yes, that's a color we haven't seen before, is it? Shit. Mm. Oh, you know what's scary about this? That means that we can place people in certain places at certain times. You know what I mean? Mm, what do you mean? Well, if you see blue blood on anyone, we know they have blue blood on them, so they're in the crime scene. If you see anyone Maybe. with red blood, we knew they were there, mm. for example. Whose blood these different colors we, correspond to? We're only sure about these, green. They must correspond to. Mm. How come he is still a thing in Victorian Britain? Wait, are we sure of green? Green is, uh, what's his name? Oh no, I'm sorry, not green, blue, sorry. It's a particular yeah, stain blood. of blood. Oh, you've had an idea, haven't you? Do you know whose blood this is? Uh, I might. It should be the the, the thrice-fired mason guy, isn't it? Hmm. Because Gina would have held it. Yes, and I, yeah. I have an idea whose blood it is. Not from the color it turned, but with a little deduction. That's right, I think it's clear. Even Iris knows. Iris, you know as well. You first, Reno. Who do you think it belongs to? Uh, I believe it's Thrice Fired Mason. Yeah, yeah. it should be. Thrice Fired Mason. You don't sound very sure yourself the way you traded off there. Well, it was two months ago now, that case. And of course I never met the victim, so I'm struggling to remember his name. He was definitely thrice fired, though. <laughs> the victim. Oh, go ahead. The victim of the omnibus case. Yes, his name was indeed Mr. Thrice Fired Mason. Thrice Vice Mace. <laughs> that would mean that his bloodstain was left on the ticket two months ago. Hmm. Which Ooh, would also mean. Do we still mean... have the knife? The knife from the other no, case. We could color so. it. Was yes, there I blood think on it, it was. Uh, there should have been. I, I don't think there was any blood on it. Mm. Oh no, maybe there was. Gina I, bought I this ticket here to Winterbanks yesterday. I'm suggesting that the blood stain was already on it at the time. So it's a smear of blood from the time that Mr. Mason was killed two months ago. Hmm. Nothing else is coming back to me now. Mr. Mick killed it. He's also wearing leather gloves that night. Mm. He was. Well, it could be Gina or him. It's kind of hard to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did have blood on his fingers. Mm -hmm. well, it would make, make sense. sense to me if it was either of them, honestly. Well, I was thinking, if you look at the glove, right, the way you'd hold the glove would be actually perfect because you'd hand it, the like, left. inside the hand, mm. which would be exactly where the, the, the blood would be from the glove. It certainly does look like a leather-gloved thumbprint this morning. But we know that Mr. McGilda had no injuries at the time anywhere on his body. From which we can conclude that any blood on the glove belonged to the victim, Mr. Mason. Mr. Naruto, you sound like just Shones. Oh no, does that mean I'm off? <laughs> Minus the quirky slip-ups, I hope. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Runo. Very well, let's make a note of this. Mm, the details of the ticket has been updated. Okay, nice. And the blood in it. Okay, we had a lot. But that also means that if we ever see... What color was this? Purple? purple? If we ever see a purple, we know for a fact that two months ago before, that Thrice Fired was involved. Which is what I think is going to happen. Mm. If I had to take a guess. But also... Um, I'm assuming they want me to check on Gina. No? No. Why don't we go uh, back into the room? Which room? Uh, back into the, the deep room. And show them the, the thing. Why would we show him this? Well, I don't know. Maybe he it'll help him with the investigation. Mm. Throw him the... This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Nope. Uh, and then <laughs> if not, throw the blood samples. Because those are both the most updated now. Mm. I thought I'd just try. What? 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 Delicious <laughs> tea! 
Wow, that's some fancy tea! Yeah, I wonder if we could cross-reference the other blood. Uh, come on! Gimme! I wish there was a master skip. I know, me too. Bing bong! Slurp! Especially the glugging part. He's just got to pee so much after he's done. Keep feeding him tea. Did mm -hmm. I learn anything new about these? The only thing we learned was the uh, the story because he got excited. Did I do this he... one yet? I don't know. The one that Gina gave us? I don't remember. I'll just give it I to would... him. Um, inspector. Yeah, nope. Oh, what do you make oh. of this? Yeah, what we have here then? A redemption ticket for an article deposit here, is it? Looks like someone ran off the office, ran out of office stationery, wrote the ticket on whatever paper the hand was the hand. This is the ticket for McGill Dovco, the one little diver turned up with yesterday. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Really? <laughs> I think you know better than me, do you? Why don't you read, Punky? Yeah, Punky. Bruno's right, Gregsy. It isn't the same ticket. Of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. I never <laughs> doubt you, you lady ship. <laughs> so, what's this all about then? If I might be bold to ask. This is a second ticket. A second one? Seems that Mr. McGill, in fact, had another article in storage here at Windowbanks. Hmm, I guess I could unload it? Is that right? I think there we, we discussed go. This further. Oh good, because he's ever so easy to talk to. He has so many fries, I know, he never runs out. Alright, there we go. New stuff. You this ticket was in fries. one of the pockets of Mr. McGilded's overcoat. <laughs> hey, you, you mean tell me? Yeah, we checked his coat. Yes, there was more than just the music box disc. Whoa. Dicks. Music box disc. Sorry. The music disc. No! Musical disc. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. No, no, no. Read the line. In the, in the, with the meat spin. <laughs> Wait, was that the ice cream truck? Yes. Oh, music box dicks. You remember What's it? in the box? What's in the box? It's my dick in a box. Two on lads taking it back to the yard and examining it properly. Well, according to the details in this ticket. Okay, for some reason when you were saying that, I thought you said Jibby was here. And I got really excited because I couldn't believe what happened in the raid earlier today. I was losing my mind. Mm -hmm. Mr. McGilda deposited another article with, here with Mr. Windybank. For those of you who play Final Fantasy, I was doing an MSQ dungeon with my friend Jibby, who's a healer. And I was tanking for a dungeon I hadn't done before. Uh, and there was a mechanic where there's these little water spouts. And I accidentally stepped on one and it threw me off the side of the... The the boss thing which is a one hit I, death okay so, Jibby also hit so that i thing. died and as i died jibby tried to res me like resurrect um fun fact about final fantasy if you're resurrecting someone they will appear on top of you so jibby started to res me i accepted jibby also stepped on a water spout and got flung in the air so when i rezzed I was immediately falling from the sky and we both fell in the water and died again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jimmy was like, oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, we're dead. <laughs> um, that's a double check. Hmm. Uh, can we go back to the court record for a second? Uh, sure. Small box, was it? What, what do you want to look at? So, the date on the first ticket. Can we... The date on the first ticket is the 13th, right? Uh, February 13th, 9pm, one small box, 10 shillings. Okay, and then the, the second one's the 15th. Yep. Okay, and the court case was on the 15th. Or was it on the 13th? court case? Um, it was like the day after, basically. Mm, well, the, my point is, though, is that before... Because it looks like this ticket was given after. So I'm so the, taking the... The murder did not occur until this day right here, the 15th of February. And so he came in before this happened to put in a box. Yes. Okay, got it. I just wanted to confirm the time on my brain. Okay, continue. Maybe we'll be able to find the small box. Maybe it's like the one over there in the, in the I picture. was going to say, I kind of wish we could look around and find it. 
Hmm. Do you have any idea where it is, Gregsy? Any idea at all? It's another article belonging to Mr. Gilded. It could be an important clue. Well, um, yes, uh, I, I suppose it could be. Hmm. Please, stop looking at me with those big turquoise eyes. They're <laughs> all full of hope and expectations. So I have bad news, which is when we came in here and Gino was trying to get rid of the, or get the coat, right? Uh, it was the day it was going to expire. And we know what things, we know what happens to things that expire. They get, they're available for sale. So it's not here in the back anymore because he's dead. There's no way he could have picked it up. So the box must be out there somewhere in the junk. Or someone bought it. Or someone bought it. We're not sure. Hmm. It's too much pressure. Oh, there's me marbles. I will. I'm hungry. No. No. How aggressively you bite those things. This is no time for dog impressions, Inspector. <clears throat> That's enough sauce for me, sunshine. Here's one thing that springs to mind. According to this ticket, the redemption deadline's already passed, hasn't That's it? That's what I was just saying, yeah. Oh yes, of course. The article's only held for two months. Which means it's probably purchased. Mm. So the small box will no longer be here then. Mm. That's right, it's been forfeited. Which means it could be on the shelves in the front of the shop. Where the forfeited items are offered for sale. Yes, the shelves in the front. We must search them at once. You're wasting your time. Oh. There are dozens of boxes out there. Hundreds, even. Can't possibly know which one might be McGilda's. That's why. That might not be true. We have magical fingerprint DNA. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we have stuff for blood. I don't know about fingerprints. I'm pretty uh... sure we have stuff for fingerprints. Well, I think we should at least have a look, just in case. Of course, your ladyship. Of course. Very sensible of you, so I'm sure. It's just getting old. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's like a simp. All right, so they want me to look for the box. Whoa! Dong-dong-dong. Um, dong Ah! I nearly jumped out of my skin there. How could Mr. Windybank set such a wicked trap? I, I doubt he set out to scare anyone. Oh, does it take a they picture? Do. Do we still have film? That'd be great. Is that really the time? I think perhaps we should pay Gina another visit soon. Oh? Your trial's tomorrow. We must establish whether or not you'll be defending her. She asked one more time. Maybe she's changed her mind. Don't you remember, Renault? You told her she could rip up the representation papers if she didn't want you to be her lawyer. Really? Did I say that? <laughs> yes, you yes, did. You did. <laughs> Deadlines for submitting the paperwork is fast approaching. In that case, we better hurry back to the prison and talk to Gina again. What about looking around for a small box? I mean, this this could be the small box right here. A small box could be anything at this point. It could be any of these small boxes. It could be this thing. These are really items are forfeited by the original or offered for sale. That's right, they've got little price labels on them. That's you actually, hold on, I'm sorry. Oops. I wonder if the small box this ticket was for is still on the shelf somewhere. The box that Mr. McGill did deposited here just over two months ago. Even if it were, finding, finding it promises to be very troublesome indeed. There's so hmm. many boxes. It could be any one of them. Assuming that Mr. it's still Shulm here. Mr. said that a pawnbroker's was the safest place to store anything. More secure than a bank's vault. That's true. Why do you say that with such conviction? Why? Uh, because, like, you don't... It's, it's hard to lose something if you know where it is. Mm. And they keep it usually very well hidden. So perhaps this small box of Mr. McGilded's contains something of very great value. Well, if that's the case, he'd probably have kept it locked. So then we need to find every box with a lock and break them all open. Uh oh. Oh, jeez! Just chucked me. What's in the small to, box? <laughs> would have gotten you arrested, so I won't let that happen. Ah, this takes me back. It's been some time since Usato-san left through me. 
<laughs> oh, that's going to be the last time she's going to That's the last time she's going to throw you. Don't say that. <laughs> that's sad. True, I can't believe the pictures haven't come up. I was really looking forward to staring at those. Hmm. You mean properly? Yeah. Or well, with we the haven't glasses? Act no, no. The. I mean, what do you I call got it? to. Susato sure likes throwing people. The, um. What do you call it? The, oh, oh the, you mean like the camera stuff film. that yeah yeah for the door. Also, is your iPhone doing later. okay? I can't tell if you're losing tracking or if you're just looking down a lot. Oh, sorry. I was fixing something. Oh, okay. That's my mistake. Just taking Gina, the time to fix the claws here. here. She looks so cold. Ah, Gina, good, you're back. Ah. ah. Actually, you might have to voice one of these because I'm voicing too many people and your person's yeah, going I, back to was... Japan. You want to take Gina? No. You want to take you do a very uh, good, you, you do you a very good Gina. Iris. <laughs> no, you do a very good Iris. I too. can't I oh. can't take Iris and Gina. They're both on screen all the time. I was gonna say I can do more I can do some more of the voice acting when we get to the okay. trial. Okay. It's just you do a very good voice for both of them. That's why I don't want to take them. You away just from you. like the voice. I also like the voice, yes. Mm -mm. I can't do a good one. It doesn't feel right. The police must, police must have finished questioning her then. How is it, Jimmy? Eh? Oh, d didn't bother me. Thank you for the papers you signed before. It meant we were able to investigate at Winterbanks. Oh, right. <clears throat> Don't you know how we were... Whoa. Don't you want to know how we got on? We've been ever so busy. What's the point in asking? Won't change what everyone's saying. That I did it. That I did it. That's not... Gina, we came to ask for your final decision. Eh? What decision? About tomorrow's trial. Will you let me defend you, or not? You must submit the paperwork now if you'd like Mr. Naruto to represent you. Right. I, I see. She's really lost her fight all of a sudden. But I know what that feels like. The worry is just so hard to bear. Hmm. Yeah, let's tell her what we found. So <laughs> Oh, all right then. Blimey, give it a rest with them eyes, Iris. Ah, <sighs> drinking some water. So come on then, fill us in. Who done it? Unfortunately, we don't know that yet. You don't say. We don't know yet, Gina. Trust me, we walk into court not knowing anything and we walk out knowing everything. <laughs> exactly. Mr. Naruto and all of us know that you are innocent of this crime. And while we haven't managed yet, well, we haven't yet managed to work out who the real culprit is, there are a number of interesting facts that we have managed to establish. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, for example, the reason for you being there in the first place. I think I know, I now, I know now why you broke into Windy Banks that night. Looks like I'm going to have to take some evidence that clearly reveals the reason. And thrust it in Gina's face, or I could present it to her calmly, I suppose. Alright, so they want me to present the manuscript. Let me do that. I mean, I was pretty sure she was going to break in to show if it was there or not. Mm. We found this in Mr. Windybank's storeroom. The manuscript of Iris' latest story. Ah! Oh, right. Well, that's good then. Curiously, the storeroom at Windybank showed no sign of being ransacked for items or value of the like. With one exception. The, bo the box file that houses manuscript. It was you, wasn't it, Gina? Who broke open the box containing this manuscript last night. Eh? You were determined to find out whether or not the Hound of the Baskervilles was really there. That's the real reason you broke into the storm last night, isn't it? Ah! Why don't you tell us what happened? Please. Thanks. <laughs> Please let me represent you. I need to know what happened. We already have the representation papers and other documents we need. All we have to do now is hand them to the court clerk. That is, if you'll allow me to represent you in court tomorrow? Mm. 
Nah, don't bother. Ginny, rip them up and chuck them, would ya? Them representation papers or whatever they're called. This cell ain't fancy enough to have a bin. So, what will you do in court tomorrow? I'll be fine on my own. I don't think you will be. Look, it don't matter. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. There's one stubborn pickpocket. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do everything else and then represent. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, Tis Baskerville's story. It's the latest Sholm's adventure, right? Not even printed yet. So I figured it's gotta be worth a fair few pieces of silver, right? It's a manuscript. Who's gonna read it? Yes, at least 5,000 pounds. You just made that up. What? So you intended to sell Iris's manuscript, did you? No, Ginny, how could you? Whoa, wait! No, no, hang on! Of course I were gonna sell it! All I wanted to do was find out if the mental script, or whatever you call it, really was there or not. That's the only reason I was in the place. For Iris' sake. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Iris' sake, isn't that right? Ah! You got baited. We knew why you'd done it from the start, Gina. Of course we did. But... I knew you couldn't... You wouldn't do anything mean like that, Ginny. I just knew it! Mm -hmm. oh. Well, um... Yeah. When I saw the manuscript of the storm, it reminded me of what you said the night before. Grown-ups do a lot worse than that, believe me. Bare-faced liars, a lot of them. You ain't just realized it yet. She looks so scrabby without her coat on right now. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because it's, like, patched up. Yeah, I know. I'm skipping the cutscene. Or the... Mm -hmm. What you call it? Well, it was definitely there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ginny, that was so sweet of you. All right, all right. I'll Cheers. tell you why I did it. Stop looking at me like that, Iris. <laughs> it's always <laughs> the eyes. The eyes. <laughs> Did you say it's the iris? Ha! <laughs> the way you single. looked. <laughs> <laughs> because of Iris, like... that's not what I did it. I just wanted to know the truth, that's all. I wanted to know if Mr. Schultz is being honest. We really deposited the manuscript of Lonely Banks. It's like I told you the night before. I never had a fat father. Holy shit, I couldn't read that word. Aja. <laughs> I was like, fat her? What's a fatter? <laughs> Damn, you've never going, had a fat her. Going back to kindergarten, boys. But Iris Aja. is not in like mine. She's got a dad. Only she can't go see him. And I reckon that's gotta be Otta. That's why she writes case. the stories. They're about a dad, really. That's what it sounded like to me, anyway. Last night, when I was listening to you, what you were saying. Stories about Daddy? You mean, they're not the adventures of a great detective. So much as the adventures of a great detective and his trusty partner. Well, that's how I see it, yeah. Oh. You're so thoughtful and kind, Ginny. They're pretty gay. Mm hmm and we never thought any differently, did we? Look! Give it a rest, will ya? I hate all this chummy nonsense, do ya? I hate it! I don't trust no one, right? That's how we work. Because if you don't trust no one, no one can let you down. So leave me alone. Go on, scarper. Her, what the fuck is on your sleeves? That's so gross. Is that mud? Or is that blood? Maybe it's a little bit of, um... I hadn't noticed until now, but it's unmistakable. Right there on the bowl, on both sleeves of that overcoat. Yeah, it might be blood. Ew. Are some very suspicious red stains. Uh-oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I think it might be worth presenting some of our other findings in that area to Gina now. Uh, blood sample. Hey, uh, can we spray you real quick? <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but... The stains on the sleeves of your new coat, Gina. They're blood, aren't they? Not that I know who's blood yet. What? 
Wait, it's not in this sprite. <laughs> what is it, Naruto? It's not in this sprite. You don't appear to have any obvious wounds yourself, though, so it could be blood that's spattered from Mr. Windybank when he was shot last night. Let's not beat around the bush here. This trusty friend of mine will get results much faster than anything else. Eh, th t take it easy, Iris. Oh. <laughs> don't move, good. Jenny. I'm going to shoot. Oh, jeez. Uh, what color are they? Let's see. That's a lot of purple. Purple? That's a lot of purple. Oh. Wait, hold up. Oh, my. Purple, what was... Police station. What purple was, um... What the... Uh, I thought it was dead guy. Is that... I know there's a lot thrice? of dead guys. I think it's thrice, isn't it? Yeah, thrice is purple. That's a lot so of blood. So that proves that he killed him. I mean, he does have a lot of blood on him. Yeah, Mason's blood. Interesting. But the point is that coat, the reason he turned it in is because uh, it had it blood all over blood it. blood on it. Well, you know what's interesting, too? Uh, this also, if somebody said, oh, there's blood on your coat, you could prove it's actually not this guy's blood. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Not that it seems like anyone touched him, but... <laughs> mm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what I would have expected. Oh, sleeves also. What the? Forget the sleeves. <laughs> the whole coat is covered in blood. Of course. The black color of the fabric was masking the stains. That's why we haven't seen them until now. It is a rather dark colored coat. She, she looks so weird. Kind of, kind of purple color. <laughs> feel terrible. Which matches the sample we've already cop collected perfectly. Damn. Now let's see. Who had the purple blood? Oh, that was you. Sorry. It's okay. It's you. Ah, uh, yes, it was the Brickmaster, Mr. Mason, the victim of the murder case two years ago. No, two months ago. Two oh, years I, I'm ago. phoning this in right now. I'm so sorry. I knew it. What What are you all on about? The victim? What do you mean? <laughs> You're wearing Thrice Ma Fire Mason's blood. Yeah. Hurrah! It's a rather uncomfortable situation, Mr. Naruto, but I think this makes things quite clear. Hmm. Are they going to start crossing their eyes with me? The Omnibus case is finally solved. The truth about who really murdered the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, is revealed. For the discs. Oi! Somebody explain what's going on! Stop telling half a story! <laughs> what about my representation papers? Are we just ignoring... Are we ignoring Ginny? We're just ignoring her. I think we it's can easy see to now that the victim's blood is all over Mr. McGillan's overcoat. In the trial two months ago, the defendant said this in his testimony. Thank God you still have your book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's just on his cup, his gloves. Hmm. But you wouldn't get that much blood if you're doing that. Mm -hmm. It makes but sense if you look to get at blood this on the chest now, and the, um... it's clear. The splatter. These things couldn't have arisen from Mr. McGill to trying to pull the victim to his feet. Although, I'm curious why you needed to stab him? No, if that really happened, the blood wouldn't have splashed all over the front of the coat. Like, that's a lot of blood to splash, too. Surprised he didn't get on his face. The only explanation for this pattern of blood is that it splattered over McGill's coat when he stabbed the victim in the stomach. This platoon is much more intense than I remember. <laughs> yeah. Tried to run from the truth for long enough. But there's no escaping it now. McGilded was not innocent. The true culprit in that case, Mr. Mason's killer, was Magnus McGilded. Good thing he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Naruto. That horrible case is solved at last. And I I helped that man walk free well he didn't he didn't go very far. I used all that twisted testimony, all that sham evidence to prove his innocence. How could I have let that happen? Bruno, did you believe him though? Did you believe Mr. McGill was innocent? Yeah, but I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> I believed, or rather, I think I was trying to believe. I wanted to, because believing in those who re represent in court is a defense lawyer's greatest weapon. A weapon? She's like, oh, a weapon? <laughs> He 
Before we came to Great Britain, a great friend of mine taught me a valuable lesson. You mean Kazuma Sayama? I was gonna say something silly, but I couldn't think of anything safe for work. <laughs> oh, I forgot about oh. him. Oh, wait, always no, blows in this room like a fan. Oh. <laughs> Jenna, your boyfriend's here. Come get him. <laughs> Jenna! We like She's him. Not he's, he's, he's good They're looking. Yeah, he's good looking. Honestly, I'm a little glad he's dead because he was a little too handsome. My lowers are only human. But Javi must resort to a primary weapon. No way we believe in our clients. As that we really have. Mm -hmm. Famous words from Kazuma, the lawyer. I don't know if we've heard this, like, soundtrack in a while. Because we're not in Japan and we don't have this guy. Mm. <laughs> That's funny, Gina. Oh, it sounds like in this empire of Japan you come from, everyone must be soft. Well, come on, look at the mess it's got you into, believing in that bulk trotter. Yes, I inadvertently helped a murderer walk free. Well, at least you've learned your lesson now, huh? Believing in people's never worth it. Someone always stabs you in the back in the end. As soon as you let down your guard, you bat it. Take a leaf out of my book. Believe no one. Get it by no one. Huh? A leaf of your book? Like a leaf of a page. Hmm. Gina, may Gina. I ask you something? Hmm. What? Just like, I like to make absolutely sure. What would you like us to do with these representation for- uh, Wow. Well, what would you like to do with these representation papers for tomorrow's trial? How many times do I have to say it? Rip them up and chuck them away. Are you really sure that's what you want? I bet that's what he wants and all now. Mr. I'm a believer lawyer over there. Don't forget it was me in that trial two months ago. I led everyone up the garden path, didn't I? You're telling me you can believe in me after that. Not likely. I mean, I do, actually. Well, Mr. Naruto? A lawyer's primary weapon is an unwavering belief in his clients. Ultimately, it comes down to whether or not I feel I can trust Jean after everything that's happened. I trust her. Yeah. Sorry, Kat, I didn't give you a choice. I trust her. Yeah, Gina, yeah. let I me say it too. again. Please allow me to represent you in tomorrow's trial. <sighs> eh? Are you after baked? Not at all. You've not once admitted to committing the crime, have you? What's more, I believe that you're telling me the truth. Bump, bump. Seriously, um, Mr. Naruto. Didn't, didn't you hear all the what I said before? I'm a born liar. Fibs just trip off me tongue. And I'm a diver, don't forget. I pulled the wool over your eyes two months ago and got you in all sorts of trouble. Why would you ever trust me now? I just don't get it. I don't know, you're cute. That's kind of my only reason. <laughs> Damn. That's what I would do. <laughs> I do understand why you chose not to put your trust in others. But I assure you, there is more to this life than you yet realize. What do you mean? The world we live in. Sad eyes. It's full of people you would do very well to trust. People who won't ever let you down. Yeah. Alright, let's not a fail a trial in the first five minutes. No! <laughs> it's true that I'm a student of law, and I'm certainly lacking courtroom experience, but I can promise you this. Whatever happens, and until my very last breath, I am completely on your side. I'm putting on my Snuggie, which is covered in cat hair, even though I just washed it because Bella it's threw on. herself on top of my hoodie and the Snuggie before the stream, and there's nothing I could do to stop her. I even tried <laughs> moving it, and she just looked at me super offended. She was like, no. um. <laughs> Sorry, Excuse Espen. me, Wanther. Um. <laughs> Just stared at me, wouldn't move, and I was like, oh, okay. Monther, how dare you? Yeah, she gets really <laughs> offended if I try and move her. Even if I poke her with the Swiffer now, she doesn't leave. I have to, like, pick her up. It's awful. She just looks at me and goes, I think, it's, I think it's funny how easy I was able to remove her from your room. I tried the bell trick and she didn't come out. She wouldn't come out for me. She knows. Mm. You gotta, like, 
Do you just ring the bell? Or? I ring the bell. I sit there by the food. I wait. All the lights are off. She doesn't come out. She stays. Do you, do you try what I up. do? What do you mean? The running thing? She doesn't play that game with me. No, no, no. It's because you're not supposed to just run. You, you look at her. You wait mm -hmm. till she's like, focus on you, right? Confused. And then you look away. <laughs> and then you go back to her again. You look at she her. Doesn't, like... She doesn't play hide and seek with me. Have you tried it? A couple of times. She's not very responsive. That's kind of weird. I think she knows. <laughs> well, hmm. What do you expect me to say to that? Oh. And it's decided. I will take these papers now and carry out the necessary preparations for tomorrow's trial. I won't even be here. You'd be seeing this little way now after it's been penned up with your name so beautifully. Do what you like, you Eastern lot art. art. I don't know what you are. I don't get you. <laughs> no. We haven't even it's made it to point. the trial. She's just taking point herself up. off the back of her cell. She'd never admit it, but I hope she's feeling relieved. That turned out alright in the end. I think. I really want to start the trial, but it's there's no way we're going to finish. We'll see oh, no. What do you think? Start the trial and see how far we get? Whoa! Whoever's hiding there? Show yourself at once. Eavesdropping is the height of cowardice. M Mr. Sato? Somebody there in the shadows. I can sense it. Somebody who wasn't there before. What? Fly me, you shop, eh? Oh. Rixen. I suppose you'd be using one of those mystic Japanese arts, like the art of stealth I so heard about. <laughs> God damn it! If anyone was being stealthy, it was you, Inspector. Yeah, no one else noticed except fucking Sasato. Grigzy! Oh dear me, I'm so aptly... I'm supposed to tell you sorry, little ship. I didn't mean to stop with you. Oh, you've lit this in. No, no, no. I just got word that there were some visitors who were refusing to leave even though it was after hours. I assure you, little ship, I only just arrived this very minute and not a moment earlier. That's all he is. Nothing to un untoward, untoward. Nothing at all. After hours? Is it that late already? Oh, there. Excuse myself, you little ship. Ta-da! Total blue! Here we go! All the best! Bye-bye! Bye and bye! <laughs> so angry. That's a lot of farewells, and not one of them appropriate for her ladyship. Oh, but I wanted to have a chat. Okay, so the time is pressing at the minute. Oh, I see. That's a shame. I don't want to get this emergency. Super King Court dealt with sharp fish. No strong heart, well, well. Emergency? Lord Strongheart. Strong Nothing, forget I said anything. And he was like, I'm off. That's suspicious. Alright, Greg, see if you have to, but let's chat soon. <laughs> wow, he's panicking. A little bit. Delay, John, can't wait. If you please, my pleasure. That's a lot of pleasantries, and not one of them sounded sincere. <laughs> he wants Audi. Grixie's so funny. He always says such silly things. Certainly entertaining to see an inspector of the police fawning to a ten-year-old girl. But anyway, I wonder what this emergency is at the Supreme Court. Hmm. Big thing, Bonk. Hmm. Must attend the court's clerk office before it closes. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mr. Sato. Who's good to our paperwork? Oh, gear. Gear. Mwahaha! <laughs> Surprise bits. It's only ten. Not so bad. That is not a rabbit. What did I say about giving you money? What did Are you I doing say? a face? Yes, I'm doing a big face. <laughs> no, like in a stream. What did I say about giving Don't you worry. money, Gear? Here. Here, let me let me um let me give you some sound effects that, that you totally would make in the situation. Oh no. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, no, we're not staying here, jeez. I can do it. Oh, sorry, I showed the wrong thing. What did you show? Nothing. Oh. Okay. I saw that for a second. I know. Hmm? Whatever I want. Kindly score our home now, Mr. Naruto. I shall meet you there later. For the last night before we no, lose them forever. That's too sad. 
Forever. She really is just an idiot. And so our investigation came to an end. So Sato-san went to file the necessary papers for my defense of Gina the following day. And then it hit me. I could no longer suppress the wretched feeling that I'd been gnawing away at my insides. Tomorrow, Sasato-san would be leaving. Leaving Britain and making her way back to Japan. That That's is really sad. sad. She's like your other best friend. She's your only friend! Your like, only, like, real friend. Everyone else is kind of an adjacent friend, you know? Hmm. Naruto-san. It's been a very tiring day, hasn't it? I do hope you're not too exhausted. What about you, Sasato-san? Today's been even more trying for you, I'm sure. Mr. Sholmes was shot before her eyes, Gina was arrested, and all in the back of the news that her father has fallen ill and she has to return to Japan at once. Oh man, I hope your father recovers soon. Thank you for kind words. I consider Iris a friend, but she's only 10. I know, it's a little weird to be friends with a kid. Mm. I wonder why it is. There's so many thoughts rage in my head like a storm. And yet, I seem I'm able to find the words to express any of them. I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, I have one found a task to complete as a judicial assistant. Once that is done, I shall make preparations for my departure tomorrow. She's so hardworking. One final task. What are you talking about? Oh, I can about? tell you tell you about the thing. Why she knew. Sad flame. My girlfriend's leaving. My wife. She cleans up after me. She tells me all the stupid shit. She throws me. I don't have a sad face. Uh, you have like a pout. Yeah, but it's Angie. Question mark maybe? Angie. I mean, you can, wait, you, can, wait, you can make a sad face. I've seen you do it. It leaving me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have... Just make a... Is it that one? Close enough. It's the eyebrows. Yeah, th there you go. There you go. There you go. That looks sad. God, you look even sadder than I do. You look like I just stepped on your food bowl. <laughs> you stepped on my food bowl? But that's where my food goes. Step, step. Oh, step more. <laughs> Shoto san has to go home. No, not step in this. We managed to establish office. I would be lying if I said I felt no regret. I'm so sorry, Susato san. It's just so sudden. I really don't know what to think. I've had no time to gather my thoughts. I know we've only been here a short time, but. In my limited experience of the courtroom, I feel I've learned something. And what would that be? It seems to me there are many facets to people's personalities. Facets? And like a jewel, the light plays off them in complex patterns, illuminating their actions and their motives. But we see only a small number of their total facets, and what is illuminated is only a small part of the whole story. Mm. What lies in the shadows? What do those facets we cannot see look like? Perhaps there's some parts we'll never lay eyes on for as long as we live. That's so true. You're so sometimes... deep, Naruto. I know. <laughs> Put a baby in me. Uh, sometimes... Oh! I mean, okay, but in a usual drama like this, he t they totally would. She'd go home yeah, right. with it. It'd be two months. You come, she'd you come go back to later. Japan. She's Mr. got a Naruto, baby. Naruto, I'm pregnant with your child. He's going to become the whole Hokage. <laughs> Sometimes I feel as though I'm blinded so much. But I keep hoping that one day it will all become clear. That all facets will be illuminated and I'll finally understand how everything fits together. Naruto-san. I suppose what matters is that we keep our eyes open and keep moving forward. Even if the way sometimes seems dark. It's amazing to think we, it's just been two months. Mm. Oh, that's a new expression. You've grown so much. That's it new. Is. Sorry? I have what? Oh no, it was nothing. Unimportant. Yeah, sure. I have grown a lot, actually. Yes. You've become an insanely good lawyer for, um, for being here not very long. Do you know what time you'll leave London in the morning? 
Yes, I picked my ticket earlier. I picked up my ticket. I've been leaving here for a.m. Jesus Christ! Did you even get to sleep? The murder happened at like three, right? We went out. So Damn. she basically hasn't slept the whole day, immediately has to get on the boat. I see, well, I'll escort you to the station. Absolutely not. Sorry. Uh, sorry? You prob- You sure realize- I'm sure you realize why I couldn't possibly let you do that. You have a very important day ahead of you tomorrow. Gina's trial. Yes, I know, but- Every word you utter will have the potential to determine Gina's fate. You should be rested. You must get as much rest as possible. I mean, maybe I'm Even a romantic, though, like, but I would have gone with her anyways. I'm sure you find it hard to sleep. Like, yeah, me too. I, I would wanna, I would wanna make sure she got there safely, and I really got to say goodbye. Hmm. Please, for me, do try. It would feel wrong to just let her go. Hmm. Give me that final task, baby. Put a baby in me. No. <laughs> That's what you said earlier. Yeah, I know, but I was like joking. She's not gonna say <laughs> that. Yeah, um, you're right. You mentioned two one babies final... in me. No. <laughs> one for Kazuma. <laughs> exactly. Um, you mentioned one final task a moment ago. What did you mean? Oh my, I nearly forgot. Oh. Please, I want you to. Oh have my this. god, I get to have her secret book. Thank god we'd be fucked without it. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. What is that? Some huge bundle of documents. It's my notes. From the case two months ago. Can we look at every fucking page? We're gonna be Maybe. here for an hour. <laughs> the murder that was committed on the omnibus. The McGilda case. Actually, every it case is sort of a McGilda case. case. Wind makes rubber, which Gina is accused is connected on with that. Yeah. It's very much tied with that omnibus case in ways that are not yet completely apparent. Mm. So I took the liberty of consolidating my writings about the case for you. Mm. What a good person. With everything else she's had to think about, Shisato-san still managed to do this. And all neatly laid out for me in her beautiful handwriting. It was my pleasure. Mm. I do hope that it will bolster your case tomorrow for Gina. Man, imagine I lose. I gotta write her a letter. Uh, I fucking lost. We lost, <laughs> sorry. Uh, they got sent to the hanging. How's the baby? <laughs> How's the baby? Thank you so much, Shisato-san. I will do my best to use it wisely. You really are the best judicial assistant in the world. Aww. Best task manager. Well, that's extremely flattering. <laughs> now put the baby in me quickly. We don't have much time. <laughs> I got like two hours until my boat. What? That I've been a complete failure. Failure? Sorry, I didn't quite catch what you said there. Oh, ignore me. I was just mumbling to myself. Why does she think she's a failure? Here, look at it. Uh, oop, no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> well, well, uh, it's getting rather late. Baby's making time is running out. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go to bed for now, Naruto san. I'll be there later. Eyebrows. I must finish packing up my things in my room. Susato san, I. I wish you the very best of luck for tomorrow. Oops, my clothes fell off. <laughs> it's a heavy Good kimono. Night. Actually, oh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Jesus! Ow! She just chucked me. The romance. Damn. What? What was that? We know. Who, we know who's the top here. Uh, yeah, we already knew that actually. The Susato shutdown. Shutdown. Go to sleep, idiot! I'll toss you. To hold back my tears. Oh. I, don't... I, I know that feeling. Hmm, me too. I just opened our fucking stream instead of the game. <laughs> I like the same thing, just a little delayed. No, I can't click on it. Hey, um, good news, Flair. You lost one person you have to voice. Yeah. <laughs> you mean you had the voice on oh, our feet fuck, for hours, right. getting Gina to open up to us and learning the truth about that nemesis of a case. 
Physically and mentally, I was exhausted, and yet the idea of sleep seemed impossible. But I forced myself to close my eyes, and as a cacophony of scenes of our lives here in London played through my mind, eventually my fatigue triumphed and I fell into a deep sleep. <laughs> Out like a light. Me when I hear fur it. The small hours. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Keyboard noises. Yes, I quite understand. There's a great weight off my mind. Oh. Oh! Rest assured, I shall put everything in place exactly as we have discussed. Thank you so much. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Sholmes. Uh, On the contrary, the pleasure has been a mine. Dork. I bid you farewell and Godspeed. No. Oh. My dear madam. She went to go check on him, I guess. Uh, also oh, the maybe she news. maybe she also asked him to help me in court because she's nervous. Mm. No, it was probably about the the story mm -mm. as to why she knew why she knew about the maybe the maybe. hound. That makes sense actually. That way, so that um, it can still be passed on even if she's not here anymore. Yeah, yeah. She probably told him specifically because she didn't want Iris to know yet. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite the time. When I woke the following morning, Susato-san was already gone. Outside the window, the rain came down in sheets, and so began an even longer day than the last, one that I would remember for the rest of my days. <laughs> sheets yeah. like a like a weighted blanket? Maybe. Flash. Spoosh. <clears throat> oh, where's your coat? Good morning, Gina. Honestly, I wouldn't want to wear it either. I'm determined <laughs> to prove your innocence today. I'm sure we can do it. So where's your friend, then? Sorry? You know, her in the fancy dress. Susato, or whatever you say. I don't know. Ah, uh, Miss Susato had to leave early this morning. She was already gone by the time I woke up. All right with that, are you? Forget about me if you like. Go and see her off. It's fine. It's not as though Miss Susato and I won't meet again. One day. Uh, even so, for you, Gina, you only get one chance. This trial today is all we have. Oh, no, I think that's your idiot. Good morning to you, you two. Oh, never oh, mind. No, oh. How are you feeling, Tini? Did you manage to sleep? Oh. <coughs> Iris, what are you doing here? What do you yeah. mean? When a friend is in need, we show our support. I'm gonna go look at the cat. The baby. I'm gonna go look at the cat. Look at the... Isn't Please. that right, Waggy? So something went off in my brain, and now Susato is Ling from Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I don't know what that means, and I'll have to check that out later. I'll open the link for you. I'll oh, find out. Cat's leaving. Ah, Waggy! Baby. Great way to show your support, Kitty. Oh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Let him have a nose around. What all can he do? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. I bought a paper on the way here. Oh. What? Take me, man meat? What? Now, would you like the you good news or the bad news? Uh, I'll keep this video for later. What so do you we say, Bruno, Ginny? Oh, well, I think I'd rather get the bad news out of the way first. It's probably the vampire, isn't it? No, I say the good news. Might not live to, eat, to ear the bad. Damn. Yes, that question always gives away people's personalities. Let's not go there. <laughs> All right, then I'll give you the bad news first. I actually prefer the bad news first, too. A record amount of rain has fallen this morning and carriages all over the capital are struggling to move. Huh? The bad news was a weather report. So I hope that Susie made her train to Dover and that the train wasn't delayed on the way to port. Oh gosh, yes. All right then, so what's the good news? Well, the rain is forecast to subside this afternoon. So even if the train is delayed, it should be able to make us up the time later. Well, that is good news, isn't it? 
just like neutral. I couldn't give a monkeys really. If only all good news canceled out the bad. <laughs> and look, the trial has made the headlines too. Pawn broker perishes and pick purse plunder. See? How do you like that? Well, let them say what they want. See if I care. I can't because you're covering your face. <laughs> Don't worry, Runa will show everyone that this headline is nonsense. Yeah. I will. And then in tomorrow's papers, the headlines will be... The discharged divers don't list do gooder. Isn't that right, Runa? Oh, sure. um, yes. Let's hope so. Of course they will. I have absolute faith in them. How was that? I was trying to sound like Susie. Did it work? Did it? It's like she's still here. Oh. oh. There's papers in the court record. That's all. Don't make Important. me sad. Uh, I don't know. Good luck then, Runo. I'll do what I can. They always throw us side cards like that. Yeah, I know. I have a newspaper and I'm like, this is important. <laughs> oh no, if it's important, that's bad. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know the law like Susie does, but still. I have got it. <laughs> I'll be by your side the whole time, giving you more support and encouragement. I'm not sure that big thing is as comforting as you think it is, to be honest. But... Thank you, Iris. That's very kind of you. It's time I if, am the uh, law. If oh, yeah, Lord Iris. Vampire decides to throw a cup at us, this we can penny? throw it back. <laughs> and just hit him with paint. Well, <laughs> I was wondering as all about Sholmes. Did they fix him up all right? Yes. The operation was a great success. But Harley still hasn't come around yet. What? We saw him off last night. Only <laughs> Sistato saw him. Mm, he's just faking it? He's just sleeping? Mm, I think something important happened. I am Iron Man. <laughs> the press got this. I've asked a friend of mine at Scotland Yard to send a telegram as soon as he wakes up. I'm sure Gregson will let us know the moment there's news. Hmm, during the trial? Oh, right. He's probably gonna show up randomly in the trial. He probably will. No, Susato-san, no Sholmes. It's all down to me today to prove that Gina's innocent of this crime. Oof, you're Ms. Ready Gina on Lestrade, own. counsel for the defense. The trial's about to begin. Please make your way into the courtroom. I was supposed to say, you're on a, uh, on a disadvantage already. <laughs> yeah. This is like when they take away your best units, and it's like, okay, you know how to play now, and you're like, wait! <laughs> it's, like that, it's like that time in, uh... In, uh... Wow, why can't I think of the Fire Emblem? And they're yeah, like, ha! Ah, you sacrifice your old man or sacrifice your young blood. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I think I told <laughs> you about that one, right? <laughs> That's what I remember. Yeah, yeah. Sacri you, you kept the old man because you're like, he's it's, useful, uh, but he just dies out. I believe it was Sacred Stones or Shadow Dragon, and I can't remember which one, but they they start you off with like three units, and you can either sacrifice the paladin who's an old guy, or one of your two cavalry units. Uh, and I kept the old guy because he was so strong and useful, but supposedly you're supposed to get- yeah, take it stuff. Yep, yep. And I took the old guy because he was so reliable, but you're supposed to keep the two cavalrymen together because they have insane growth stats. And the paladin really doesn't do much. But, uh, I was dumb. And mm -hmm. I took the paladin, so. <laughs> yes, let's go, Gina Iris. Lead the way, Runo. Everyone was so upset. It was like, you can't separate Cain and Abel. And I was like, well, Abel's dead, so. <laughs> Poor yeah, Gina. She's trying to put on a brave face, but I can tell she's worried and scared. Oh, he has a big shield. <laughs> I have to believe in her from start to finish. That's the weapon that will secure our victory here. I mean, I see it as like a, you know, a They're replayability boy. thing. Like the first time you play, most people, I think, who aren't very confident will take the guy with the big shield. And then if you oh, ever you know play what? again, you're like, oh, actually, Kane was really good, or Abel was really good, so let me try keeping both of them. Claire, don't, don't go to the next screen yet. Yeah? What are you doing? I, I see this, and I just think of, uh... Like, can you see his back leg is like a star? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh! Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, jeez. That's, that's the flare I made. Oh my god. Well, it's very ominous. Mega flare. So, I made the mega flare for whenever we get $10 donations. It's okay. Or big donations. It's a, it's a big super flare. Mm -hmm. Super. I like the eyes. You could say a solar flare. Solar flare. I learned anything bunny from Bunny Stare. All I can think of was the... That fucking JoJo's noise. 
from the time <laughs> stop. Actually, it's who's gonna be the the lawyer on this side, or who's I'm gonna be the prosecutor? Assuming it's the vampire, but if not, oh, it is. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare the court to be in session. This trial should determine the guilt or innocence of Miss Gina Lestrade. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is ready. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. The defense is ready. The eyes. Lord Van Zeeks. My lord. Remind me, how many years ago was it that you withdrew from the public prosecution service? It was some five years ago, my lord. Yes, and then two months ago you were surfered somewhat unexpectedly. And here you are again today. Well, there's some circumstances of which the court should be aware that have led to this erratic behavior. In what one might describe as your former life five years past, you dealt exclusively in matters concerned with the highest echelons of society and government. Really? Yet today you choose to try a simple case of burglar and murder. I confess I find it more than a little befuddling, counsel. And he's been losing. There are two types of person I cannot abide. Firstly, those wealthy scoundrels who hide behind the mask of philanthropy, cheat the public at large. Is he so short? He means Mr. McGilded, who you defended against the Reaper two months ago. I don't even think I've seen the back of this wall before. Hmm. I was also going to say that, um, in that case, you also did try to help him, too, get him in trouble. Hmm. Which yes. I think he noticed, at least. I just about managed to work that out. Thank you. Magnus McGilded, if I'd known what a monster he was, I never would have defended him. He would have won anyways. The other and secondly, me even more loathsome, those really scoundrels Violet. who masquerade as allies only to effect total betrayal in the final hour. In other words, the confidence trickster oh, from those no. tiny islands in the far east, the Nipponese. Alright, he what might be a little racist. <laughs> what? Did he really just say that? It means you now, Reno. I actually managed to write that out too. Thank you, Iris. To mm. Total betrayal? What are you talking about? Horrid look of hatred in Lord Van Zeke's eyes. Was that directed solely at me, or was he talking about all Japanese people? An alarmingly scathing explanation, Lord Van Zeke's. Still, the judiciary welcomes the return of the so-called Reaper of the Bailey, feared by all of London's malefactors. Your lordship is too kind. Uh -uh. Now, jurors, the six of you have been selected at random to represent the will of the people in this trial. Who do we have? Ooh, a lot of familiar faces. Are you um, a doctor now? Is that the Russian assassin? Um. Um. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, the new face, the only guy new on the face far right is, is definitely the, the assassin, isn't it? The revolutionary. He's got a mouse that he's petting. Like an evil person, I, I guess. don't know what is going on. Why do they always feel so rigged? We have the also, maid again. We have the moon guy. We have the old man who's a doctor, apparently. Uh, that secretary lady who's got new gear. I don't know who the third guy is. Who is that guy? He's do definitely we new. We keep getting new blonde people. And we recognize chair. the first two, obviously. Especially... He, <laughs> he's yeah. looking so suspicious. He's the leader, I just realized. The first guy's yeah, always the leader. Yeah, he is, he is. And type raider lady is a Morse code thing. Oh, is that what that is? Interesting. The third, the third seat is always like a blonde man for some reason. Hmm. How did they pick these? They say random, but I feel like it's bullshit. But yeah, there's a lot of overlap here. Uh, interesting. Okay, I'll put my glasses back on. Shit. Former lieutenant in the British Army here. Don't you know? Chaps like me were born ready. It was you? Clean cockery, clean cutlery, and clean conscience. His lordship's motto is very appropriate here, I think. Oh, he's got a stereoscopic <laughs> thing. Everything will be stereoscopic in the future. Absolutely, absolutely everything. I'm ready for it. Yeah, Mr. Garadab. Oh, uh, this is you, technically. I don't understand it. I can't have left it in there. It's not oh possible. Oh my god! The surgical tool! 
could I have? Yes. What? I just Women in dispensable in doctor. society. Stop. Female centric Where? future awaits. Stop. What? 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 What if that guy was a butt doctor? He left something in there. Oh, I don't know. Oh no. Uh, his you know, mouth. I, I, I can do it. You wanna do it? I can do it. I, I'm trying to take some voice actors for you. Good day. <gasps> I'm visiting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. <laughs> He's not even meant to be here. I, I like the mouse. <laughs> I like the mouse too. What Let's is going on, though? Let's see what I pack up on the mic. You know, like... Something wrong, Runo. <laughs> Uh, not exactly, it's just your noise is not coming through, cat. I know, I tried. Fairly certain I recognize these jurors, almost all of them, in fact. <laughs> this is worry, absolutely the Russian guy. He's, that's a Russian English dictionary. If you look closely, it looks like Russian English. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you the, the mouse noise, ready? Okay. I can't hear it. Oh wait, do I have crisp on? Hold up. Okay, that's... I don't hear it. Don't hear it. It's okay. I, I, I tried. I give up. Really? Funny coincidences like that do happen from time to time, don't they? But it is quite strange. The jurors are chosen at random from London. Six million inhabitants, you know. So I've been led to believe. But something tells me I'm being duped. I think Very he well. picks them. Now, Lord Van Zeeks. The court calls upon the prosecution to introduce the, fas the facts of this case. As you wish, my lord. Allow me to begin with a word of war oh, one of warning. In short, the animators ran out of there time. There has never been a more self-evident case of cold-blooded murder. Uh -huh. This guy's fucking not this. Uh -huh. The victim, Mr. Pop Windybank, proprietor, okay. proprietor of a pawn shop on Baker Street, was shot from behind and died instantly. The prosecution presents this photographic print of the crime scene. At least that's the same CGR this we saw. This is one print. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> As the court will observe, there is a single bullet wound just below the gentleman's left shoulder. The evidence suggests that the bullet pierced the man's heart, resulting in a near instant death. I call bullshit that getting shot in the heart doesn't kill you instantly. That's a goddamn brain, my thought. Spinning away. Moving on to the findings of Scotland Yard's coroner. <laughs> One bullet. Ah, ah, ah. His report states that the bullet entered the body on a rising diagonal trajectory. Rising. Raise, rising. I thought it said rising. Yeah. That means it was from an angle below or an so angle above. So a shorter person, potentially. Or they just turn him over and it's the girl from the knife case. <laughs> And what's that Black. supposed to tell us? It means the victim was likely shot by someone significantly shorter in height than himself. Someone like the accused, you might say. Prosecution wishes to present the autopsy report and crime scene photograph as evidence, my lord. I am curious about the autopsy. Indeed, the court accepts. Hand them to the bailiff, please. Hmm. No other Can we take a look at the autopsy? Yeah, sure. I'm just curious. Now, at the court, to turn it to time. Well, we didn't even have an autopsy, so it's not really an updated one. Mm, 1 to 130. I reported him. Dr. Stevens, post-mortem findings, no business time. Instant death, post posterior, posterior, whatever. Anterior bullet wound to the heart, enter the body from the back on a gently rising diagonal trajectory. If he was bending down, though, couldn't it have been anyone? Okay, well, regardless, he couldn't have moved when he died then. That's what they're saying. Mm. But when he got shot, he died. He went, oh! And now ask the court to turn its attention to the plan of the establishment where the incident occurred. 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 Yeah. Oh, jeez. The proprietor was found in the storeroom where he kept articles pawned to him. A windowless room with a single point of entry, a door to the main shop that was found locked. 
in this sealed chamber, there are only two persons present. By them making a globe means there's probably a secret turret, but we don't know yet. Hmm. The victim, Mr. Windybank, and the accused. Oh. In my further interest, the court to know when the accused was discovered at the scene. He had the, in your hand the gun used to fire the fatal bullet. Mm. Does really know exactly this exact gun? Maybe. I don't think they have rifling. So they wouldn't be able to check like what kind of gun it was. <laughs> Only a matter of time for she got blood in her hands on. Objection! We can't jump to conclusions here. We mustn't assume her guilt just because of what she has to do to survive. Let me pour some wine real quick. You fucking asshole. I mean, that's his My job. learned Nipponese, a uh, learned mm -hmm. Nipponese friend. It is you who mustn't jump to conclusions. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. The prosecutor has barely begun presenting its case. Conveniently, this appalling act of murder did not go unobserved. There were witnesses. There shouldn't have been. Good gracious. After their testimony, this girl's true nature will be exposed. Pitiful, pig purse, or cold-hearted killer. Used to establishing the truth. You're actually gonna drink it? No, he never drank and drinks. He has drank it once or twice. Yeah, but only when he thinks he's winning. Yeah. Hmm. The court will take the floor plan and fire him into evidence. Hand them to the bailiff, please, Lord Van Zeeks. I think we already have those. At once, my lord. Actually, the lord floor plan we didn't have. Mm. Oh no, I can't never we didn't. We didn't actually have it, we just examined it. This hmm. isn't good. I feel like the moon here has turned very gloomy all of a sudden, Runo. I think that's because it has. Oh the spot Oh he's taking it off already. Okay, okay, the clothes are coming off. Let us begin. Think for the witnesses of the foul murder of Mr. Pop Windybank on April 16th of this year. So they might tell me what is a man? <laughs> Oh! Oh, come on! They're so suspicious. Look at them. Those are definitely the two who are robbing the place. Wait, Why are they holding an apple in a for the court. What is going on? Do you mind taking both of them? Yes, I was thinking. I'm here. Let me give me a second. I need to think of a theme for them. What uh, are they? They look like funny little skeletons. They're wearing masks. Are they? You think they're wearing masks? Maybe. I think that's just their uh, face. Mario and <laughs> Luigi, a little. I think, that, I think that's the point. Um, they're raccoons, they could be. Certainly an interesting design. Uh, I mean, I could give them funny Mario and Luigi. It'd be like, sure. Hey, name's Naskokin. Op occupation is Amp Baddie. Professional. Professional Baddie. Hey, it names a Ringo Balsagolkin. Occupation. Um, zim zim. Ringo definitely means apple. I forgot the other guy's name. Nash? The boy is, the boy is Gregson. Colin, you're an inspector. Gregson, you look so normal compared to these weirdos. That's right. We're what they call. Oh. Three. Brothers. Wait, three? Wait, are you actually related? What are you looking? What are you looking at me in like that for? Don't let me in with you lot. God, blind me. That's cold. Don't you know what we're, go what we're going through? It's our <gasps> old bro. What's contact with him we have? So we're scouting every shady corner of the capital. Wait, is it really? And last night we come across you, the very spit old bloke. Ain't that right, Ringo? Hey, it is that. It is very spitty of him. So we decided that we, we was going to do. We was going to call you. Banana? Big bro Sulky. So they think he's their big brother? He looks Come like on, him? Leave it out, you two. Sulky skulking. And that's before he's run out of chips. <laughs> well then, Inspector Sulky Gregson. Make it porn, my lord, but the name's Tobias. What would I like to know, Inspector, is what you are doing in the witness stand. 
You skulking brothers, you skulking brothers are under arrest, my lord, on suspicion of theft. Hmm. Thieves are they, the, these three. Not three! Stop! No, my lord. Begging your pardon, but please do not let me within with these lot. This is saying right away. Mm -hmm. Two nights ago, these two brothers illegally entered an establishment with intent to burgle. Mm -hmm. And in, in the course of the nefarious activities, they came, became embroiled in the far more sinister crime. By Jove, you mean to say, what an extraordinary coincidence. As always. Indeed, my lord. While attempting to burglarize the bond brokery, they witnessed its proprietor's murder. How are they going to explain Sherlock getting shot? Clearly, they tried to kill him. Um, also, I gotta point out that. Um, oh, he has a box. The short <laughs> McGee is also short enough to get shot. He is super shoot short. With a gun. Yeah, yeah. Order, order. His various trespasses of his brothers is not the subject of today's, today's proceedings. Though they will naturally face trial in the very near future. <clears throat> With your lordship's mission, I'd like to remain in the stand to keep these gents on straight and narrow. You can bother calling him Big Brother. Of it course, easier, Inspector. Skeptical as I am about the caliber of these witnesses, I will permit them to take the stand. Mr. Mr. Skulkin, you will now testify before the court. Describe the events of the night in question and what exactly you saw. Happy to! Hit the dev. Because the Skulkin's never Skulkin. <laughs> I can't tell if he's actually their Get brother or not. I mean, I can't can't... tell. I they, can't tell because their face. They don't look they got that the... crazy, but they don't, they... Got the, they don't got the mustache for it because I mean, they got the middle part missing. I mean, they're kind of similar. They both have mustaches. They got weird face shapes. They do have weird one, face one's shapes. One's like a, one's like a rhombus. Was is that the right one? <laughs> God, is a rhombus the right? Um, I don't shape. know what you're trying to say. Like a diamond? Like, a rectangle? No, no Definitely no, no. like a long one and a short one. I don't know. Alright, let's see what the testimony is. Let me look at the fuck a rhombus is. No, it's not a rhombus. Trapezoid? Trapezoid? Like a short stop and then a long bottom that are parallel with the two intersecting. Well, he's you know, got a weird fucking face. Shape. Just look like He's got a weird fucking face. Look at the dude. He's got like a fucking. I mean, smooth... look at the other guy with the butt chin. Yeah, but he has a butt chin. People can have those. Uh, I feel like the one that I'm looking at is actually more normal than the second one, really. <laughs> yeah. But, anyways, go ahead. We was walking down Baker Street. He was walking down Baker Street in small hours at the gas store. The Fosse. A jar. It's hard to read because he fucking speaking was. It was like some kind of sign begging us to go in, it was. But once you got inside, call Blimey Lummy. We heard gunshot from the back room. <clears throat> we, went, we went to see what was what, but the door was locked from the inside. We never done nothing, Governor. We never took nothing. We just left after that. Nice and quiet. You shot Sherlock! You shot Sherlock! Yeah, we think you shot Sherlock, at least. Hmm, a terrible coincidence, it would seem. At the precise moment these miscreants entered the property, an even more sinister crime was afoot. The witness testimony is consistent with the crime scene in every detail. Oh, is so far it, it is. Though? So far. The door providing access to the storeroom from the main shop is indeed locked from the inside. Although, real quick, I do have to say, if this short guy is really so short, I don't know if he could reach through the door hole to shoot the guy what from the back. Brother, what if his brother holds him up? <laughs> well, then what's the point of being a short? The whole evidence use the gun. of the short thing. Why is he the only one who can use the gun? This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick up my brother. And within only the Mario. <laughs> exactly. Mario. <laughs> Luigi. Go the ahead. only victim, Luigi, and the only victim he accused would have found. I bet there's ah, a ah. tunnel, maybe. You could have shot them through the window. I must keep say, that in it does appear to be an overwhelmingly simple case. Still, the defense may cross-examine the witnesses now, of course. Counsel, if you please. Look what Herlock said. Hmm. Counsel? Uh, mm, yes. What's the matter, Bruno? Sorry, I, I was just stunned into silence for a minute by the blatant lies being told by that pair in the stand. I know that's all nonsense because I saw it with my own eyes. I'll just have to expose their testimony for the pack of lies it is. I'm surprised they don't it's recognize like, me, actually. Oh, well, it was like, dark. That was so full of lies that it was I, I was just... <laughs> and it's dark. Let me let me press everything. Hold it! 
You just walked Probably. in, huh? The front door of Windybanks was ajar, you say? What time of night was this? It must have been about one, right, Ringo? Hey, yeah, I do say so, right? So <laughs> How would I know? The place would have been shut down at the time in the morning, just like every other shop in town. When it was pitch black and it was pitch black in there. It's true, ain't that right, Ringo? I'm not so sure, Nash. It seemed to remember a little light burning inside. How about you, Sulky? Me old mucker. I keep trying I keep to ask volume. him. Leave me alone. There definitely was <laughs> a like, small lamp level. burning inside. That's what alerted us to the situation in the first place. That's true, it was lit. And when these gentlemen ventured to the open establishment, the accused was Gina Lestrade already had the muzzle of her gun trained on an unfortunate oh, victim. Yes. That is pure conjecture. That's actually true. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, perhaps, but it changes nothing. Well, you're not allowed to say that on the record. That's conjecture. Well, I was also going to say, that for, for a guy who always says, proof, 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 <laughs> he's like, he's, he's now involving his own conjecture. Mm -mm. His brothers, oh my god, wrong voice. The brothers <laughs> inadvertently wandered into the middle of the cold-blooded murder. Simply because they found a door to the victim's establishment open and ventured inside. Right, that's what happened. Hmm. Hold it, Fisher. It was some kind of sound. Oh. You don't have to read it. I forgot. What are you trying to suggest? That you had to go in? Well, good. What was the mysterious <laughs> ways they say? Don't they, Ringo? They do, Nash. They do. Must have been some sort of provid providence, I reckon. God's will often presents itself as the whim of thieves, does it? No, no whim. I'm. I'm dead sure of that. Oh, that. It wasn't Nash. It was like what, like we said at the time. Yeah, don't just find doors open in the middle of the night like that. Nah, there's no two ways about it. It was a sign of a long lost brother was inside. They're not. That's you. They're not very good liars, are they? Oh, hold up, hold up. What? Hear me out. What if there was a third one? In the room? Yes. Um, why would that be important? We're, we're pretty sure we only saw two silhouettes, though, when they were running out. Yes, but the, the third person who could have killed them could have been the third one. We don't know yet. I'm just saying, what if there was a third one? <laughs> it led us to block what we looks like our brav. <clears throat> I said the cut. I said cut it out. Those chips are gonna chomp in a day. Blech. What? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Cut it. A gunshot, you say? Just the one? Are you sure about that? Yep, just the one, governor. I can swear, don't deny it. It was Nash. It was. In the right, bro. Firearm used. It was the victim himself. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Windebank always used to leave his gun lying around on the counter. Right, I remember. When we examined it, we found the revolver was completely out of rounds. I hear these voices mixing up. Mr. Windebank always used to say he only ever kept a single bullet loaded. That's true, I remember him saying that as well. So we can say with considerable certainty that only a single round was discharged from the firearm used as the murder weapon. Oh, you were listening to me. I wasn't sure if we were just muttering in yes, the Yes, my bench. lord, we can. <laughs> also, I gotta point out, that means that there were two gunfire shots, but we yes, only found yes, one gun. Yes, And I should remind the court <clears throat> that the firearm in question was discovered in the hand of the accused. Do we have the picture? Do we have the photo as no. evidence? No. Oh, we don't have hmm. the Wonderful. Hold it! Hmm. Do you mean the door between the main shop and the storeroom? Oh my we have learned that the friend is having difficulty grasping the situation. Perhaps a drawing would help. Excluding the shop's entrance from the street, there is only one door that to the storeroom. And this is a secret. Of course, there is only little oil lamp burning. Not too much to see by. In the door of it, it'd be hidden behind the curtain and all. 
That's right. <clears throat> when we arrived, the door was mostly obscured by the curtain. Tell me, why exactly did you try to open that door? Eh? Any normal petty thief would run at the sound of a gunshot, I should think. Oh, oh, uh, um, you turned into a rabbit, Ringo. <laughs> well, Nash, um, yeah. I, I suppose you would say we ain't normal, eh? That's one way to put it. Broadly speaking, humans respond to one of two ways on hearing a gunshot or a scream. The team would flee, grip a fear, while a courageous investigate to see if they might help. I don't think they're courageous. The gentleman of the latter inclination may learn deep in his friend, it would seem. Is the former. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Somehow I just proved that I was a coward that night. Thank you, Councils. So, I believe we all understand that the door was locked and could not be opened. Proceed, witnesses. Hold it! You didn't do or take anything. Is that your story? Well, it's bed lame as soon as it were. Ah, regret. It was, it was Nash, was it? Didn't even have time to pull me dukes out of my Lucy lockets. So no time to take your hands out of your pockets. You just left, nice and quietly, you say. That's all right, Governor. Nothing we have more, hate more than violence as hate. <laughs> Peace, love, and people as we are, not the bluegers. We are... We are Nash. We are never even pulled the dukes out. Me Lucy said that again. <laughs> so you'd clearly like us to believe. Hey, come again. As you fled from the pawnbrokers that night, did you not run into anyone else? Oh, yeah, um, they don't recognize us. Look at his eyes. And did you not fire a gun at that person? Um. Saints alive, they fired a gun, you say? Ah! <laughs> Blind me, governor. You ain't telling us it was used in the doorway. It was. <laughs> why the why the bleeding order? Didn't you mention that before? You were armed with a gun, and as you fled the scene, you fired that gun at London's greatest detective, Herlock Sholmes. They shot the great Mr. Sholmes. I did hear that actually. There was a rumor he'd been rushed to the hospital. The Great Sholmes? That's beyond the pale! Yeah, they fucked up. <clears throat> On the night in the question, this pair were arrested by the police within minutes of discovery of the crime scene. Their suspicious co continents rapidly gave them away. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> It went searched. A firearm was indeed found in their possession. How many shots? Oh? Huh? Furthermore, the bear showed signs of a shot having Just been fired one? from it. Hmm. Just one? The prosecution invites his lordship to examine the firearm recovered from these brothers. Indeed. Remnants of powder on the muzzles, you say, counsel. He's praying with the rat. <laughs> the court will hold this weapon as evidence. Can we take a Skulkin. look at the gun? Yeah, let's take a look. Only a single gun. round. Hmm. I got away from the poor. Hold on. <laughs> Now my learned Nipponese friend. I'm taking a look at the evidence. Where's this gunpowder thing that you can all see? Uh, how do you how do you see the gunpowder thing we're all talking about? I don't know. So there's ammunition still loaded in five of this revolver, six cylinders. So that means it was one shot once. Okay, I see. Yes, and what she tells us only a single shot of the fire from it. That doesn't necessarily help us in this case. I think about it. The bullet that hit Hurley, in fact, isn't it? Yes, it happened almost as soon as we walked into the Windy Bank store. She just, no. she just bolts over the desk and beats the shit out of them. Hey, I got a new feature in my gun here. It shoots real bullets. <laughs> you know, she just starts shooting at them with this gun. I, I mean, it's loaded. Left. It's loaded. I'm surprised they have a loaded gun in court. Well, they took it as evidence. I, I know, but... I don't know. I might have taken the bullets out. Uh, hydrate. Yeah, From you. 
This is a little odd, though. We have two guns that each fired once. That is a different gun. Very different guns. But will the rifling matter? Oh, are you going to give me a full body stretch? Yeah, let me stand up. But, because I don't think they actually tested what kind of bullet is in the wall, for example. Hmm. Well, if you make a theory, there's two mm. things that could have happened. It, uh -huh. it, the bullet could have pierced Holmes and went right into the wall. Windy Guns guy was a snub nose. Uh-huh. What is a cat? Well, I'm saying, like, if either the bullet pierced and it hit Sholmes and it went on the wall, which mm. is why the blood's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have both guns. Yeah, we have, we have both guns. Um, or... I didn't actually even look at it. There's a gun we haven't seen yet. Well, Secret there's gun two number C. shots and two guns. But it's yeah, a so strange. Far. I mean, it could have been possible that the one gun was taken from her when she fainted and then um, well, shot him. Well, what's then... unusual is that not only has Gina not told us about if she fired any guns, which would help clear things up, but we know for sure they fired at least the one shot at us. So, did somebody else use the gun to shoot at him and then just put it in Gina's hand? Hmm. I'm not really it's sure. Good question, isn't it? Because I could understand her holding onto the gun and firing at the assailants through the door after they shoot him, right? But we actually haven't found any evidence of that. Hmm. I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm just sitting back down after stretching. Mm-hmm. With this wedge, too. Yes. Just you successfully presenting the evidence. Well, yes, there were telltale signs of spent the gunpowder and the gun and secret bullet missing from the cylinder. But the prosecutor advanced evidence that it was fired at the scene of the crime under scrutiny in this trial. Perhaps mm. the blood? Well, I don't need evidence. Because I was there. Yeah, you do need evidence, son. However, the rest of us in this courtroom were not. If the defense fails to prove the evidence in support of his rash claim, you have no choice but to toast your impotence and move on. Hmm. Evidence that these two fired that gun before they left Windybanks that night. They look so nervous. Look at their fucking eyes. Well, his eyes. Eh, Mario, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. I may be making a Luigi in my pants. <laughs> The court demands that all claims are affirmed with clear proof. What evidence show that these witnesses unloaded a firearm and blah, blah? I think it's the calendar, isn't it? Do we not? If you don't have the calendar, we can present the Do blood. Do I not have the calendar? No, maybe they'll present the blood samples. I might have. Take that! The evidence. That's you. Sorry. That evidence is in the portfolio. What? what? What on earth do you have there, Council? It's- I have people's blood in here! <laughs> During the course of our investigations, we discovered a number of bloodstains. Naruto needs a camera. <laughs> Not trusting to do the police to, to do the job they're trained to. How arrogantly Nipponese of you. Oh, uh, well, it was different evidence you don't well, have. Well, anyway. We analyzed all the blood samples we found and recorded the results in this portfolio. And you claim to have the evidence the court is demanding therein. Hmm. Cat, are you okay with your tracking? Yes, my lord. Yes. What are you doing? You're more uh, dialing than counsel. Present the pertinent evidence at once. Well, I'm just checking to make sure that your tracking is comfortable. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just adjusting my headset. Your it's head? funking. Oh. What do you have in your portfolio that proves these witnesses unloaded a firearm at the scene? Uh, the, the, this thing. The calendar. Take that! What is that? Explain. It's a photographic print taken at Windybank's pawn brokery on the day of the incident. From the scene of the crime, is it? It shows the date and it shows the blood. Hmm. Is that a bullet hole? If my eyes do not deceive me, it appears the bullet is still lodged there. Hmm. Yes, as your lordship noticed, the bullet pierced Mr. Windybank's calendar. Whoa. The date shown being the 16th of April, the very day of the pawnbroker's death. 
The incident occurred at one hour after midnight, but this indicates that a separate shot had been fired sometime after the calendar had been set to the 16th. That's right, and while it isn't irrefutable, the defense believes this is credible evidence that the witnesses did fire a round from their gun in the pawnbrokers that night. <laughs> They're weird poses they're doing together. Order! How does the prosecution stand, Lord Van Zeeks? He's like, hmm. Come on, take the L. If that is the direction my learn learned friend wishes to take, the prosecution has no objective. Objection? What? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Meanwhile, he's out Again. here throwing shit. But you'll forgive me for flinging my hollow chalice inside the disgust at the repugnance it exposes. Yes, on the night in question. His brother entered the pawnbroker illegally. And like the bald baddies they claim to be, opened fire on the new rivals before fleeing back onto the streets. That's true. Yeah. Take it easy, governor. You're gonna land, a land us in the soup. <laughs> in the soup. Hey, we had the deal! Weren't you gonna let... You weren't gonna get into them details. Tell him, Zalki. Set the block strike. Oh, he looked away. I have nothing... I got nothing to add. So he knew, did he? Van Zeeks knew their testimony, but almost certainly exposed the extent of their crimes. Count Chocolate looks like he's from Castlevania. Naruto looks like fucking Astro Boy. Yeah, I know, it's cute. There's it would seem now styles. that it all my learned Nipponese friend the word of gratitude. Oh? What do you mean? What I mean is that you have helpfully confirmed an important fact. To what fact do you refer, Lord Van Zeeks? As it's been established, the mm. point of the arrest, a single shot had been fired from the brother's gun. Right, so it could have been the one that been... shot this mm. guy. However, if the shot had been by the target in Mr. Sholmes, they clearly, these witnesses cannot be accused of fatally shooting the proprietor and victim. Ah! In other words, these two men... I actually thought the bullet hadn't passed through uh, Sholmes. I thought it was in him. Let me really find out. I have no material connection to the murder of Mr. Windy Bank at all. So that's it. Nick! They just missed every single one! You're hurting me! Or maybe that's on purpose? Look at their faces. And, and we have nothing, nothing to do with it! I can't trust these bitches. We didn't, Nash. We didn't. That's what I reckon. Look how happy he looks. Your clients include unlawful entry, intent to steal, perjury, and let's not forget attempted murder. They had to do surgery to murder. What catalog, yeah. eh, fellas? So who's is that? We're in for it now. We are in for it now, bruv. Now then. Let us take a moment to consider the aforementioned great detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. He was seeing the man patronize the pawnbroker in question somewhat regularly. Hmm. Where's he going with this? Mr. Sholmes appeared to take pleasure in tinkering with eccentric machinery. Eccentric? Says who? Not me. Don't, don't give me that look. He installed a pair of machines ah. like this one in the victim shot. There's the camera we waiting oh. for. That's one of Hurley's red-handed recorders. What is that council? It has the appearance of a photographic contraption. As your lordship has surmised, it is indeed a camera attached to a small timing device. Every half hour, it automatically photographs the interior of the establishment. The idea being that if a thief were to break into the shop, he would be caught red-handed. Hmm. That's a lot of photographs. The photographs taken by the device on the night in question. That's, That's a lot expensive. of fucking photos. That's expensive. Okay. I'm scared one of these dolls is gonna move. Uh... <laughs> As the court observed, copies identical prints are produced in a quite desultory fashion. With no result. Mm -hmm. Hmm, rather prodigal, prodig prodigal, oh my god, prodigal. In fact, there are two such devices in the victim shop, my lord. Yeah, give me the other angle. If I'm referred to the court, the plane of the premise and their respective positions are here, in here. 
Interesting. Well, where's the door one? I want to see the door one. It's, uh, let's see. You say these cameras produce a print every half hour. I'm afraid I failed to see how that would help if the anticipated thief conducted his activities in one of the many 30 minute intervals. One can only pray that it would be criminal lingerers, my lord. And the night in question, the witness currently in the stand were not caught on camera. Hey, hey that's old Friar Tuck, eh, bro? Friar Tuck. Lady Luck loves a skulking. Don't be so lucky about it. Witnesses, at what time did your trespassing begin? Hey, it must have been just after one, right, bro? She must have been there. She must have been. Yeah, just done one. Mm. In case which minutes before the brothers entered the establishment. What scene might we expect to see within the shop? I'm curious when the shot was fired. Let us examine the evidence. Oh, whoa. That's not good. Good lord. It it's the defendant. That is really bad, actually. Oh, that makes sense, though. So she would take the gun and threaten him to open the back door. So she mm -hmm. could check. Yeah, it's not good. And then open, open the back Lestrade. door. Mr. To open it and then open the box. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That doesn't necessarily mean she shot the gun, though. True. As the court can clearly see. <laughs> the accused is pictured gun in hand facing the victim over the shop counter. Yeah, that's really bad. Of all the fucking photos. <gasps> the dog. What about the dog? I know. Look at that dog. He just has a photo of a golden retriever. I don't Whose know. Dog is this? I've, I've been looking at this dog since... Oh, hi, Nug Nug. Yeah, I know. I'll go to sleep around midnight something. Go to sleep. You okay. have school tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, Nug Nut. <laughs> go to sleep. You gotta be up at like at seven. Your brownie face. I'm looking at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You should be sleeping. Suspicious. Sleep. Look at your face. <laughs> Quite. One can only too easily imagine the events that unfolded. The court will take this photographic print as evidence, if you please, counsel. That's not good. Cat sus face. What do you mean, sus face? It's like, we're 5.45. Go to sleep, nug nug. Jesus, you have no time. Ugh, I, I, I don't believe it. Ginny! In short... In short. The accused is the only person who could have possibly killed Mr. Windy Dan. That's... that's not true. Ah! Look at him Jojo posing on me. I say my lord. Is this gonna be, uh, what's her name? Oh! Wonder if I might put in a word at this point. Go ahead, Mr. Foreman. Took a bally bullet to the knee in the Battle of Maiwa in 1880, don't you know? Decorated for it and all that, but forced to retire from service, sadly. Of course, a medal can never outshine the exploits of chaps like us on the battlefield. Yes, Mr. Foreman, and what exactly is your point? Carried on the battle after retirement, you see. Battle of daily life, if you like. And here I am now, leading this small squadron. Six men, all good and true. And we'll all go down together, you mark my words. One for all and all for one. I thought he was going to say something about the ballistics, but no, he's just being weird. Not yet, I must watch some Indian build a house in the middle of nowhere and then fall asleep to five minute ad to get because I'm too tired to skip it. That's me. All the time. I listen the to ladies and gentlemen, the jury have reached agreement, have they? Is that what the, we, we have to understand? The other day, <laughs> this might be a little gross for some of you, and I'm sorry in advance, but I was looking at this amazing video about someone dissecting a human stomach and turning it inside out and showing me how to put the hydrochloric acid inside to replicate how the food is digested. It was so fucking cool, but I fell Where? asleep about 20 minutes in. Yes. Did you get the chance to see the flat baby? No. I'll take a look at I that sent, later. I sent you a flat baby, Ooh, apparently. a flat baby. Apparently, uh... With twins, sometimes what happens is that one baby tries to beat the other one. Yes, yes. And, and they, they steal smushed. all the nutrients and all the blood from the one baby, and they become flat. Yeah, they get smushed. They, become, they look like a paper baby. Yeah, did gross. you know the inside of your stomach has folds? It's like all wrinkly. It's really cool. And that's so that it can expand and shit. It's really fucking awesome. Blair likes um, 
anatomy, you could say. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Is that correct? Yeah. In a matter of speaking, yes. This is the Garadim Squadron's position, sir. What? No, it's too soon to make a judgment here. After hearing that, I'm interested, but suddenly really tired. Exactly. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. This is this is your parent telling you to go to sleep. Uh, Flair ASMR. Uh, I just tell you to go to sleep. Don't worry, That's I can play some ASMR for you, Flair. You'll fall asleep in stream. No, please don't. Do you, do I will. Do you, do I will do you, absolutely you, hit my head on the desk. His lordship insists on. Pompitude at all times, and that goes for making decisions too. Mr. Carrot was an asshole. No, I think if I the truth, it's a clear day now. I couldn't reach out and touch it. Jesus. I wouldn't no! have it in there. I just wouldn't. <laughs> Burn all I want to see. Oh no. Situation clear. Stop. No room for doubt. Stop. Truth now undeniable. Stop. I'm very sorry for brothers. They are unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, son. I like his, Have I a like good sleep. Rat. Have a good day at school tomorrow. I want to pet his rat. Pet his mouse. Very well. I now call upon each member of the jury to state his or their leaning in the matter. <clears throat> his or her, I just realized. I just inserted my own pronouns. Announce your considered verdicts to the court. Guilty. Oh. Guilty. Oh. Guilty. 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 Oh. You know, I was half expecting the rat to do that one. <laughs> well, here we go at the beginning. Does indeed appear that the jury's unanimous and it's leaning already. That photograph it must be the definitive evidence that Gregson mentioned. But Ginny didn't shoot him. No, of course not. My lord, the defense wishes to assert its right to a summation examination. Yeah, you've done this a lot. <laughs> Very well, the court grants permission. So, you refuse to admit defeat again. How unsurprising. I read your entire <laughs> line. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I, 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 he isn't going to provide anything useful in that, in that sentence. <laughs> we shall proceed immediately with the summation examination. You just just form it all members of the jury ready. You know, he kind of looks all, it's like an adult vampire dude, but he kind of acts like a child when it comes to losing. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely, sir. Always ready for action, my chaps. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty. All right, here we go. Mm. <clears throat> All right. So the two useless people are going to be the Russian guy and the, the, the doctor. Well, we'll see. All the evidence clearly points the finger of guilt at this young pickpocket teen. As a housemaid, I like to see all fizzy eyesores promptly and vigorously eliminated. I think you find a look at that photograph in stereo. The truth will just pop out. This is an evidence. I, I, if I had left it in there, this should, this should be repercussion by now. Oh no. Mind made up. Stop. Global radio transmission of verdict to follow. Stop. In Motherland, we say never to judge by clothes, judge by head. And I'm convinced the brothers are innocent. Why does he have a rat? I like that mouse. Nobody is describing to me the rat! Or the reason why they, they think they're guilty. The circumstance of this crime and the evidence do indeed implicate the defendant rather comprehensively. He stole a block from the inside in which the victim and the accused were discovered alone. In the accused hand, the fetal... The Vito Revolver, the firing of which was heard by these witnesses. Not to mention this print! Yeah, they're pretty made up about it. Take it from a chap who's seen action on the battlefield. That young lady's on the verge of pulling the bolly trigger! Th thanks a lot, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> oh dear, Hurley's cameras were supposed to help, not hinder. I'm afraid I, mean, I think help. you have an uphill struggle ahead of you. Thanks Gina for being didn't nice shoot about. Mr. Windebank. Which means there's more to this situation than we've yet to see. I thought of Transformers. <laughs> more than Transformers. meets the eye. In agreed. You have the floor, counsel. Proceed with the summation examination. Mm. Oh, that look at those idiots in, in the background. They're like, 
Where'd the seed thing back here? The fence is Hold below. safe. The, 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 the I, I feel like I have to press everything. I don't have shit. Yeah, they didn't give You're us any Mr. Information. Natsume's landlord, Mr. Garadab, aren't you? We really must stop meeting like this. <laughs> Oh, you're that lawyer chap. Well, there's a turn up for the books. Yeah, I guess it's been two months. Or, no. A month? I don't remember. Yes, yeah, rather turbulent time we had back then. Some extraordinary events took place at your house, that's for sure. We shit talking rats in here? No, no, I'm just confused why he's there. Luckily, Mr. Sholmes and I were able to get to the bottom of it all. I think we did rather a lot for you, didn't we? Yeah, is your wife in jail? You leave little King John out of this. <laughs> we'll see his crown. I would be suggesting that therefore you should change your leaning to not guilty or anything. Oof. Can't be denied, I suppose. The curse of the Garandim house was the talk of the town after that business. Lodges moved out and I couldn't get a bolly soul to take up the tendencies. Oh. Haven't had the heart to break the news to Joni yet. Bad enough that the old girl's clapped up. Yeah, she's in jail. <laughs> yes, can't be denied. You did... Ra do rather a lot, but not for us. That's for Dash, it's certain. I suppose not. Of course. There can be no suggestion that being the reason I'm leaning towards guilty here, obviously. Obviously. But honestly. I really wish you'd pay more attention to the trial and less to juror number two. Oh, why? Is he looking at her? Uh Hold it! Polishing the bench, I see. Again. It made its work and never done. Not a blemish must remain. Um, what exactly do you mean by filthy eyesores? On the way to the marketplace, lordship, I have to, have to pass to the east end. The place is full of beggars, purse, big purse, and crossmen, the scum of the earth. A little harsh, perhaps. Let me be plain. If it were to me, all those blacks, the back slums have been made Ooh. spick and span or eradicated. Holy shit. At least we have people do the great detective work to achieve these important goals. You're referring to Mr. Herlock Sholmes? That's right. I like to keep abreast of his exploits by reading Rant's magazine in between my duties. He does wonders cleaning up London streets. In my opinion, he should be declared an honorary maid of the capital. Maid. M Mr. Sholmes, a maid? I mean, he apparently looks great in a dress. It is really unforgivable. Not just come having the audacity to shoot our very greatest detective. Minor detail. It was the two brothers in the stand who shot Mr. Sholmes, not the defendant. Minor detail indeed. They're all gutter scum as far as I'm yeah, concerned. I guess to her they're all thieves. It doesn't really matter. Well, it just might be an idea to get our facts straight anyway. Yes. All right. I shall make my statement. Oh, there we go. Something to work with. Those two brothers are the scum of the earth. They should swing for shooting their... They should swing for shooting, like, swing as yeah. in... Like from the from the noose. I... Mm. Oh my god, holy shit. I agree with you. The shooting of Mr. Sholmes was an unforgivable act. But the purpose of this trial is to determine who shot the pawnbroker, Mr. Windebank. I'm afraid, I'm afraid oh, he's splitting... I'm afraid he's splitting hairs. Sorry? Whether it was the thieves or the pig purse, it was... Still got to trash the shot the pawnbroker at the end. Feel that should be cleaned up and eradicated. In my considered opinion. Thanks so much for sharing. Changing this maid's mind isn't going to be easy. Bruno, it was one of those two brothers that shot her earlier, isn't it? Yes, without question. Well then, I'll never forgive them. Oh, Iris. Perhaps we can use this maid's statement to help us somehow, do you think? Yes, maybe. Let's listen carefully to what each juror has to say first. Hmm. So this might be one of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this guy will have anything. <laughs> I mean, I know he's doing it for the pictures, but he, because I he's doing know. it, he makes him look like a... What do you mean, look at the photograph in stereo? So, what? I, don't, you, don't you know? I look at the photograph of Brent normally. Do you have Actually, a stereo feel, photo of this? That'd be I interesting. Like, I feel like he's going to speak normally. When it, it looks as though the pickpocket is a... About to shoot to the victim, obviously. Objection. But there's no indication that the defendant ever fired the gun. <laughs> no, so if you look at the same print stereo, it reveals all sorts of new information. You have a second print. Why don't we just look at that one? By any chance, are you a fan of stereoscopes? Look at him! 
Oh, how did you know? <laughs> Let's call it a lucky guess. It, it never gets old seeing those two prints merge into one before your eyes. It's extraordinary. It's captivating. It's the height of modernity. Modernity? Modernity. Of course. Oh, yes. I think you'll find the stereoscope is here to stay. Wrong. Um, well, we have VR now. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> oh, shit. You're right. We could only dream of before the great invention of the world has ever seen. If only it could give me a new perspective on this case, I might agree with you. Yeah, if we could get photographs from the second... Like, I want to see the other angle at the same time. We might be able to see her back. <laughs> it's fucking doctor. He's... If I left you yeah, I know. I'm worried about him. What did you leave in there? Well, what, what exactly have you been muttering about all this time, sir? You keep talking about having left something somewhere or something like that? Ah, sorry! I left my cranberries inside my last patient, and I'm still hungry. Oh, no. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm a surgeon. That's very concerning. You know, honestly, though... A surgeon though, that totally passed me by. Of course, people conducting surgery in this country aren't considered to be doctors. Oh, no. What? Even though me and my kind are at the forefront of medical science, the real brains in the field. So what is it that you think you've left behind? Ow. Well, that's... A little embarrassing, to be honest. You see, I was operating on someone oh, yesterday. No. Oh, a standard thing went uh, through the abdomen. I hope you weren't operating on Sherlock. I think he was, actually. Did you leave the bullet in there? It went through the abdomen. But when you finished the procedure, I... Well, I couldn't find my scalpel oh anywhere. Oh, my God. What? Did he... Surely not. Exactly. Surely not, you say so yourself, don't you? Worrying, isn't it? <laughs> That's what's been troubling me this whole time. Wouldn't he have a hard time standing? <laughs> Could I have really left my scalp inside the fellow's belly? No, of course not. I couldn't. Unless. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you have it. Like I said, a little embarrassing, really. That's one way of putting it. The other is manslaughter. <laughs> That's my concern, is seeing as this case appears to be all but sewn up. I need to focus on trying to remember exactly what I've sewn up other elsewhere. Now, I'm sure I made sure everything was back as it should be. Well, I sure it can't be without being sure. Oh no. I'm sure you I need should. to be more sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, he had nothing properly said. Hold it! Sorry, radio serious? transmission? What do you mean? Are you from the Far East? Stop. Um, yes, from the Empire of Japan. All communication with Far Eastern nations used to take place by mail. Royal mail steamers take more than a month to complete the journey. Ah, but now we have the electric telegram, so we can send messages using electrical signals. Thousands of miles of cables have been laid along the ocean beds connecting the entire world. Thousands of miles of cable on the ocean bed. Makes my head hurt just thinking about it. You're well informed, young lady. <laughs> But cables will soon become a thing of the past. Stop. And just then when I was starting to catch up. Radio transmission is the future. Stop. Messages carried over airwaves to four corners of the globe. Stop. Excitement growing. Stop. Oh, atmosphere electric. Stop. Right. Try not to wear out your fingers. Era of wireless telegraphy. Stop. Driving technological revolution. Stop. And people say inventions like the stereoscope are the height of technology. What utter piffle. Hmm? I can't understand it. I really can't. They're just silly to- Oh, he got upset. Well, why- why don't we, uh, why don't we fight about this, huh? Excuse me! I don't think this has anything to do with the case, though. Uh, Jerry number three. Sorry to interrupt when you're obviously fuming, but... Oh, he is really mad. What? What? Do you perhaps have something to say about Jerry number five's last remark? As if I couldn't guess. Oh, you bet I do. Say that again. Go on, I dare you. Goodness, are you talking to me? You think, think stereoscopes are just toys, do you, huh? Absolutely. I mean, really, a machine to view photographs in three dimensions. Why on earth would you not just use your eyes to look at the world around you? It's all three-dimensional. What a great way to appease the man. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Stereoscopes are of no practical use at all. Hold up. 
You could you can look at a 3D view picture from a different place you can never go. Mm. Hold on, that's not true. You just don't know. Don't know. I think you find viewing a photograph through a stereoscope can unlock all sorts of possibilities. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna have to demonstrate. <laughs> yep. Sort of possibilities. Oh shit, wait. If you look at the crime scene, because all the pictures are on a row, right? If you look at the previous picture and the current picture, you'll find what's missing. Uh, well, I was gonna say more importantly, if you actually want to use a stereoscopic image, why don't you just use the second image at the same time? Mm. We have two yeah. cameras that are just slightly offset. Mm -hmm. If you had a pair of stereo photographs from a crime yes, scene that you can. could view through a stereo stereoscope, we could reveal hidden clues you never noticed before. What? Have you got any, Runo? Any prints we could look at with a stereoscope? Yes. How about this print here? It should do the trick, I think. I mean, are we just showing or are we actually looking at the fucking shit? Why don't we just look at the, the current picture? Like the one that was the last picture we just had. Yeah, we haven't actually investigated it yet. Whee. Mm. Well, Magnifying glass powers. I, I actually can't turn it around or anything. But I was hoping mm. that we could see if there's someone behind her or something. Um, yeah, more importantly for me, I would have wanted the second photo. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's either this one or it has to be the, the cat picture. Hmm. So, I mean, do you want to save? Mm, no, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Take that! Like, here's the crime scene that he wants. Alright then, juror number three. Are you saying you can do this with any two suitable photographic prints? Of course I can. Very well then, I'd like you to demonstrate. If you'd like to do, just give me one more print and I'll maze you. Uh. Um, 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 I might have fucked up. Do I really not have another photo? Mm. Get the same picture. I, um, I think you have to get the same picture. I don't have a second photo. Take that! Uh, wait, sorry? What do you mean, one more print? Oh dear, oh dear. I, I do, I'm asking you for it. You need two photographs for a stereoscope. Remember? Well, f I'm working on it! Why don't you give me one? Jeez. Yeah, I think yes. they want you to show the cats. Mm, it's not related to the case, though. And they let me do that. It's just a normal photograph. I think you'll find that the clue is in the name. It's a stereoscope, not a monoscope. You always need two prints. Thanks for the friendly explanation. Hmm. Well, if we obtain another print at some point later in the trial, we can always show it to this young man then. Hmm. So exciting. I think. Oh, I think we need to talk to someone else. Person is really starting to annoy me. So we need we need to talk to someone else and then um. Hmm. And then get the photo and then come back. So I think that's the goal here. Is to get the second photo print. Probably it, from it five did, or six. It did update his stuff, so I guess that's fine. So we talked to five. I don't know if I need her anymore. Talk to Russian we man, haven't even yet. talked to you. She's useless, but let's talk to him. Maybe he has some sort of hidden gold in his weird Russian. Please tell me you're not Vilan Borshevik. You just called him out by name. The Russian revolutionary. Re revolutionary? <laughs> da. <laughs> I believe there is. I believe there is such a rumor. It's just a rumor. As you see, I have unfortunate appearance. I look like vicious, vicious Quibano. Mm -hmm. Your words, not mine. Just want to point that out. I don't think it's the cats because they you let me get away with it. You revolutionary, murderer. You just admitted it. The, the rat Bobby. is like looking up at him so lovingly. He's like, it's okay, friend. And which glove fits? <laughs> look at oh, the mouse the he's reading. reading. He's reading with him! Good day, I'm visiting London for sighting. Would like to take bus to Crystal Tower. Wait, wasn't he trying to go to Crystal Tower for a reason? He was trying to go to Crystal Tower. I think he was trying to blow it off. <laughs> I'm too afraid. Right, that didn't sound staged at all. You'll forgive me for having my doubts. 
Look at him. The, the way the rat immediately looks up. Like, this is like a rat, my time. life partner. <laughs> it's very painful. People do not realize. There's so much sympathy for these brothers. People say they are criminals only because how they look. Well, also they, because they stole. They also shot my friend. The Skulkin brothers? Da. Me and said bomb broker shop. They have done nothing wrong. That is all I want to say. The Skulkin brothers did nothing wrong that night? I mean, you shot my friend. All right, well, first of all, <laughs> that's one not so little misunderstanding I'll need to clear up straight away. Tell me something, Iris. Hmm? What is it, Runo? The jurors are chosen at random from the inhabitants of London Town, aren't they? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it called London Town. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? In that case, how is it that there's a Russian tourist sitting among them who looks for all the world like a revolutionary? I wish I knew. Okay. If I can't change the minds of more than half of these six jurors, uh, the trial will be over. But we know that Ginny would never shoot anyone. Yes, yeah, so we need to find contradictions in what these jurors are saying and put them in. Okay, yeah, I know this. Uh, let me see what we have. I don't actually remember. Maybe, maybe you can present the gun to the one guy. Uh, I can't actually present. I can only pit them. Mm. So let me just read what everyone said. Uh, young pickpocketeen. Those brothers are the scum of the earth. They should swing for shooting the great detective. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just different. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's pit that, those two. Let's do that. That's an easy one. I really love this setup. It's so cool. Pit. Objection. Oh, you pit, uh, you pit the old man. Did I? Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, just, you need to hover over them and then. Yo! Uh... <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Yep. I'm not even reading it. I don't want. I, I pretend not to see it. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> this is Michael, my life rat, my life partner. <laughs> Four stars making a few cents. I mean, we already have one pit at least. I mean, I think yeah, that that's pit, my we bad. can get a photo. We that's can get a photo. Hope oh, maybe. No, no, no. I, I think that's what we need. We need the second photo. I'm so sorry, sir. I did not mean to pit you. <laughs> You're doing it again. You're doing it again. Okay, okay. Calm down. Okay. Stop. <laughs> How do you I... Need to, uh, you need to go back. You have to go to that lady's statement and then you pit them. Oh, I see. I see. And now you pit them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Objection. <laughs> Objection. Those two statements clearly contradict each other. Good lord. Counsel, explain yourself. Oh my, my statement contradictory. Contradi contradi con he, he con has to find it. See, oh, in Jury number six, you've got the wrong end of the stick. I do I not, do not have stick. I have <laughs> mouse. The music. Oh, look at that mouse, though. Look I know, at look at his little nose. Like, look at his look nose. Him. Look at his nose. <laughs> He's very cute. I want him. I want to hold him. Take it to you. <laughs> we, we all look at him? I also, I I'm ashamed him. that he has not told me the name of the mouse. As Jira number two said earlier, when the Skulkin brothers fled the scene on the night in question, they fired a shot from the revolver. Yes. They shot, they posh, Mr. Show. Uh, they shot poor Mr. Sholmes in adamant, I understand. Surely you're not going to tell the court now that you didn't hear. Abdomen, <laughs> abdomen, abdomen. Sir? Sorry, sorry. My English is still learning. You are. Oh, you. you. You are telling the court you didn't hear? Forgive me, I did not hear. <laughs> and you ruled him guilty anyways. Ah, here is one. Abdomen. Part of a person's body containing stomach and other vi vital organs. Is this what you mean you should say in plain English? I am Russian, not a native speaker. I mean, that's kind of true. I would say stomach. In the in my tummy, in my body. Hmm. I would have probably act it out, actually. But whatever. Who thought it was a good idea to let this man be on the jury again? <gasps> he put the mouse down. Oh, he put it down. So, look at him. 
You telling me these brothers look like criminals were lying? He he looks like he would kill them <laughs> right now. <laughs> yes, I'm going to kill you. He said before we never done nothing, but truth is they shot detective. Da, this is throb double negative. Yes, that's exactly right. <gasps> lying is wrong, especially when lie is said by a person who looks like criminal. I was oh, so nervous for him. I think he's okay. He the the mouse clearly likes him a lot, so I think it's okay. Coming from you, that seems surprisingly prejudiced. This means... Mouse round. They became long. When they said we never took nothing, maybe it was big fat lie. Is this true? I'm scared for the mouse. Well, according to the police report, no stolen goods were found, so... Put the mouse down- Ah! Enough! Enough! I trust no one now. Uh, it's not the mouse's fault, though, Blizzy, sir. I must see with all eyes. I must inv investigate crime scene myself. Oh my god. I'm afraid that won't be pass. Yes, it is, Runo. Easily. Sorry? Oh, now you're gonna give me the second print? Oh my god. With the, with the prints from Hurley's red handed recorder. Mm. Ah. Cool. You compare the print that pictures Ginny and the next print from half an hour later, you'll be able to see straight away if anything was taken or not. Cooey, Mr. Prosecutor. Cooey? That's calling on the prosecution in the middle of a submission examination of all times. The print showing the accused threatening the victim after she broke into the shop is this one. I mean, the lamp is broken, shouldn't it be? Calling this and the accused moved into the storeroom. Meanwhile, the Skokka brothers enter the shop in some summer lay healed. He tried to gunshot the ring out. Sadly, none of these events were captured on film. This is print produced by camera half an hour later mm. after the brothers' fight. Flight. Ah, it, flight. Uh, I don't really notice anything missing, but. Well, the the glass is broken at least. It is. So, as far as you can tell. That's you, actually. Sorry. Uh, nothing has been taken. That does seem to be the case. Can't notice anything that's obviously missing in the second print, but maybe we do need to overlap our stupid eyes. I don't know if I could. We'll pick him. The brother who looked like Cody but has only told one lie. They shot the man, but they stole nothing. It seems so, yes. Good. No, not good. <laughs> You're right, I did not understand the situation. Now I know brothers have lied. I think it's very important to continue this with Wary. trial. There's no V. v Oh, veil, veil, veil. He's almost veil, like Uwe veil, speaking. The veil is important. Oh. Okay, that that works. Uh, you know, I'm terrified like, that he's gonna throw the mouse in there at some point. Yay! We'll see that. Yay! Well done, Reno. The balance is shifting. Just one though. Well, it's a start, it's a start I suppose. But there must be more in what these jurors are saying that I can use to expose the truth. If I can do that, we might just turn the situation in our favor. Still, can oh, I get I the second print, please? Oh, I know it's gonna happen. Thank you, Council. Continue the with only... the summation examination. Can I have the photo? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Claire. You wanna look at it or you wanna just give it no, to no, me? No, no, no. They gave. I, I noticed something funny. Before, oh. they usually give us two non guilties per, but this time they only gave us one. So it means even if we convert the up next two. two people. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be three. Mm hmm. We might as so well just give it to the guy. Tie. In Lake of Lies, a mini dead fish. We must find truth. Find Therefore, truth. I say not guilty verdict. Alright, so let's pit, um... Or actually, can I just present to him? No, I think we have to pit them. Again. Uh, maybe. Oh, wait, hold up, stop. We hold up, don't do anything, don't do anything. Uh, I think we should pursue him again and see if he asks for the picture again. So, press? I think we should press him and see if... Hold it! Can it really show new clues, though? Yeah, okay, here we go. There we go, yeah. Okay, whew, just checking. I, I was like, it didn't seem right. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that's the right one. Mm -hmm. the first one. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Alright, these two prints were both taken with the same camera in Winterbanks on the night in question. He must be so excited right now. Yes, I see. Well, Mr. Um, lawyer. Do you know how to stereograph images work? 
Do you understand the principle? Man, they're really hammering this home for me, aren't I, they? I could, I could, I could try to look at my eyeballs, but it's gonna be hard. I think so. I did have a lesson only yesterday. They're gonna have me do it again with the cats. I'm gonna skip this a little. I understand I'm trying, how this I'm trying to look at the cats right now. Uh, oh, uh, that my oh your shit. eyes, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that made my eyes feel weird because oh. it was mixing in my head. Oh, I wasn't no. expecting the margin for me. Oh, my eyes hurt too, I tried. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. that small shift between certain objects in the two pictures that's really important. So what happens if you use two photographs that are exactly the same then? Then you see no difference. So usually, you don't just have the same angle, you need slightly different angles to actually have a stereoscopic image, but whatever. Yes, but the point is that if you have a lot of you can see the differences. I think the young girls discovered the secret. I I have, I have! <laughs> <laughs> can you uncross your eyes before you tell me? <laughs> have another look at these two pictures from Hurley's camera, Runo. Go on! Uh, oh god, I can't cross my eyes. I see the lamp is broken for sure. Uh, you know, I can't really see much gone, actually. I see the lamp for the most part. It's just the lamp as far as I can tell. What is Flair's favorite thing to do? I don't know, sleep. Uh, I like playing media games. Try looking at the picture in three dimensions. How is this supposed to help me? So start with, you have to cross your eyes and then try to make the two, I can't do that. Do I actually have to do this right now? Uh, give me a second, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I don't see any differences in the background, except the lamp. It, it, it actually is kind of scary because it makes them look like they're ghosts. <laughs> Full body stretch and a hydrate. Thank you, buttery. It actually makes it look almost 3D. It's working? Your eyes are working? That's terrifying oh, well, I, that you can do I, this. I am, I am trying. Personally, I think it's just I a lamp, but maybe I'm anything. stupid. So far, I see the lamp is different. Um, I That's... think most of everything else seems the exact same. It'd be tragic if they took that photo of the dog. It's just a lamp. Okay, just checking. Why would they destroy it, though? That's kind of weird. Please don't... <sighs> I can't believe you had to do this by crossing your eyes, or God forbid, just comparing them. I think so. If you're talking about the lamp, but if it's anything else, I won't. What? What's going on with these two pictures? Oh, what? There's something there? Oh, well, if it's jumping out, hey, that means I... it hasn't changed. Right? If it's oh, not fuzzy... Oh, no, hold up! No, no, no! Okay, I did notice that, but I was looking for differences. That whole care. section has been moved. What do you mean? Okay, so remember what we talked about. If the if the photos are the exact same, hmm. it means it can't be stereoscoped, right? Yeah, which but means if it'll I look see super it 3D, sharp. Oh, then it's moved. Then it's been moved. And it was 3D. I thought I, I just was ignoring because okay. Everyone's <laughs> crossing their eyes. He like, has I a stereoscope. Fucking... He's not gonna cross his eyes. That makes sense. Huh? That's not it. I'm so glad I lied out my ass because I had no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Literally no idea. Hmm. I was like, that did look suspicious, but yeah, like, I wasn't other sure. amazing also, power. To, uh, Is someone going to explain this? I'm doing it already. Everything in the background has moved. Uh oh. Someone going to explain this black magic? Why the deuce do some of the things on the counter seem to jump out of you like that, huh? I I could not see this at all, so I feel like I've missed out on something really cool. I think you'll find that if you consider the basic principle of the stereoscope, you'll answer your own question. Yeah, basic principles water. of the stereoscope. Yeah, I got it. As I said before, if you try to it. look at two identical pictures using a stereoscope, it won't work at all. It's a slight shift in the positions of certain objects that lets you see pictures three-dimensionally. In other words... Uh, I can barely tell. If, if you guys didn't have your eyes, I wouldn't know. The lamp is broken, all the stuff behind the big book has been moved. Hmm. Interesting. It shows that actually, there must have been a slight shift in their positions. Yes, there must have been. Hmm, but does that actually prove anything was stolen? I don't see anything moving. Now hold fire there, sir. Got a reasonable grasp of this whole cross-eyed business now, I'd say. 
But why the devil does the shift between the two prints exist in the first place? Well, what's the answer, fellow? Come on, you're the cross-eyed master. Am I? What, me? I haven't the first idea. You know, Runo, it's quite simple. It, it is. Just, just think it through step by step. The first photograph was taken at 1 a.m. Then, 13 minutes later, the second photograph was taken. But the position of some items on the counter appears to have shif shifted slightly in the interim. So that means... That means that sometime in the half hour interval, someone must have tampered with the things on the counter. Just came back to say goodnight. All right, goodnight, Pop-Tart God. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice to meet you. Zookers. Zooker. So untampered. New information. Stop. Not mentioned in testimony so far. Stop. Yes. We've had to go around in circles a little here, if it seems, but I'm starting to see what I should be aiming at in the summation examination now. Pop-Tart. No worries. Good night then, Pop-Tart. <laughs> Well, aim at Pop-Tart. No, don't aim anything at Pop-Tart. Ladies and gentlemen, the question now is clear. We know the items on the countertop were moved, but by whom? Are you are you suggesting you might know? Of course. I can tell you right now who is responsible for the almost imperceptible shift on the items on the counter. Um, can I put both of them? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Wait, you're older? It's, uh, Barrack Von <laughs> I actually have no idea. Uh, it, I think it it's was, the uh, thieves, isn't it? Well, we can't do both thieves. I'll just pick the stupid one. Wait, hold up. Should we save? So oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, which one of these idiots should I pick? I'm pretty sure that the short one shot me, so I think the tall one is a thief. What <laughs> yeah, do you, you think? Would, the, the short one can pick the it up. The short one can <laughs> reach things. Well, can we look at... We can't look at her... I was gonna say... Wasn't, look at wasn't their faces in quick succession. <laughs> <laughs> bloop, 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 you want to look at all our options? Uh, it's Herlock Sholmes. I wonder if it's the... Uh, if it's hey! Uh, no, he moved into the room right after. Hmm. With uh, Gina. I forgot about Tom. I forgot about Eggert. <laughs> Eggert Benedict. Beautiful hair, though. Okay, I guess you can just pick the tall brother. He seems I'm, like... I'm just going to um... pick him. He seems sus, if I may say so myself. It was the witnesses currently in the stand, the Skulkin brothers. Okay, that's fine then. Wait! This does not agree with what brother said in testimony before. I have bad news for you. They said they do not have time to pull dukes from Lucy Lockett's. My phrase book says dukes is meaning hands and Lucy Lockett's meaning pockets. Honestly- Oh no! Still hurt him! But this is another lie? Is what you are saying. So you're right, it doesn't matter which brother you picked. Yes, I'm afraid so. <clears throat> now! Minute. You, you can't be sure of that. Meanwhile, this guy can't even remember if he left a scalpel in somebody. Yeah, that's what I quite agree. The accused is common pick purse, after all. It's perfectly possible that she went to the things on the chest to see what she might steal. I think that's unlikely. And why exactly? As you can see from this photographic print, the defendant was pointing a gun at the victim. It would seem, as my learned friend indicated, that she was coercing Mr. Winterbank to open the storeroom door. In other words, Miss Lestrade's interest lay within the storeroom, not in the main shop, giving her no reason to touch anything on the counter. All of which points to one thing. The Skulkin brothers have omitted key facts in their testimony. But the accused is a big person. Come and cut the trash. Why look further for the wrong door here? Because the Skulkin brothers are thieves, madam. No better, in fact worse, than a pick purse. I believe that these brothers were looking for something on the victim's counter that night. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you would condemn the defendant on the grounds that she's a pickpocket, would it not at least be right and proper to thoroughly scrutinize testimony given against her by two thieves? Well said. Hmm. I, for one, would like to hear more from the shady pair. Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> he can't touch it! He's <laughs> sterile. <laughs> Bonk! Ow, though, his forehead. You can tell me pop tart if you'd like, by the way. Yep, I saw that. No. He's like, thank you for liking my things. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna vote for you. Oh, okay, they're all gonna go white. Alright. Yeah, we know how the rules work. 
Well, it would seem this trial is yet to run its course. The ladies and gentlemen of the jury have declared their inclinations via the mighty scales of justice. I hereby call this summation examination to conclusion with the balance altered in the defendant's favor. Two lean to guilty, four lean to not guilty. Accordingly, the jury is without consensus. And I order this trial to continue. Yay, well done! Oh, by the way, what? You should hold on to this, Runo. You never know when it might come in useful. Twice in one trial would be unusual, surely, but all right. Thank God, I don't know how to use this thing. My eyes can't cross. Finally. Lord Van Zeeks, you will instruct the witnesses that the court demands additional testimony from them. He's like, I'm sure it won't spoil the bouquet to do so, my lord. Look at how tiny she is. She is a baby. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Want myself another chance to probe that pair about their activities that night at least. And I won't stop probing them until I've proven that Gina is innocent. Hmm. Don't take that one out of context. <laughs> okay, oh, this good. Is the... Save point. This might be uh, where we end for yeah. tonight. This is a good chance to save. Because this is probably going to be another couple hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. It's getting dicey. Getting spicy and dicey. Getting spicy dicey. I know, short stream. short stream, I mean four hours, but on the other hand, uh, usually we go for six, so. You've been tired though, you should try to get I know, it is almost 1 a.m. Um, and we had like a really long stream on Sunday, so hopefully on Wednesday we'll go back to a regular cadence. Yeah, I was doing Mario Kart. It was fun though, I had fun on Mario Kart. Mitty had a great birthday stream. Or at least I had fun on Mitty's birthday stream. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, let me see who's on. I might give it to the non-bitey zombie. I will send fun too. Don't worry. Hmm. Hope you don't mind. I'll send you off tonight uh, to one of my fellow monster girls. Monster girl. As usual, uh, I tell you to just check them out. You know, you don't have to follow if you don't like their stuff. Um, I think it's just important to give visibility to people, you know, on our team just to broaden their horizons and stuff like that. I hope you all have a good night. Thanks again for joining us. Hopefully we'll have more time next week for Ace Attorney. I'd love to be able to get to the end of this. But usually the fifth case is the longest, so we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. I know. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wee. <laughs> Hope to see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. Okay, I sent them off.